Orlando, Florida, has been fighting a red light camera ticket he received for a car he does not own, never drove, and from a camera in a city he's never been to. Miami-Dade County sent the 20-year-old student the ticket along with a picture of what the court was claiming to be his car committing the violation. But several key pieces of information gave Rainey the pause. He explained what he was thinking when he saw the citation. Wait, I've never been to Miami. What is this? He added, and then I started looking at it more closely and I was like, oh, this is not good. Rainey saw an obvious discrepancy. Immediately, I noticed the roundness of the car, and I was like, my car's a truck. It has a square back. With the evidence, Rainey called the courts to get the ticket dismissed, thinking it would be a simple matter to clear up. It wasn't. He said, they told me I'd have to take it up with the Miami-Dade court. He was told he would have to travel to Miami to appeal the ticket in person. Rainey, who works two jobs and goes to school, says he can't afford the trip, but he must go to Miami anyway, because if he doesn't, they will suspend his license. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The number of users who actually enjoy Facebook is down to four, and Apple announces a new iPhone with the N-word on the back, knowing customers will buy it anyway. And now for the delayed and utterly thoughtless romantic gesture that is The Onion Week in Review. Self-identified 9-11 truther Dennis Shaw told reporters Tuesday he's absolutely convinced the United States government has orchestrated an intricate plot to systematically destroy the last 11 years of his life. Shaw, who since 2001 has spent nearly every waking minute poring over footage of the World Trade Center attack and even handing out truther pamphlets every afternoon, says the government is behind the gradual collapse of his personal and professional life, adding that the conspiracy, quote, goes all the way to the top. Before 2001, I'd see my friend Stephen Copley every couple of weeks, and now he won't even answer my calls. The, f the f government got to him too. Think about it. My coworkers, my wife, my friends, everyone calling me crazy after September 11th and wanting nothing to do with me. What are the chances of that? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. The live Saturday edition of the program. As always, we're here in the studio with you to take your calls about whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 with you tonight. It's Ian. And Mark. Don't forget, you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. All you need to do is send a contact request and it'll be accepted. Then you'll be on our Skype list. Make it easy for you to call in from that point in the future. Of course, lots to talk about tonight. Last night, uh, I was on with Daryl, and he had this story about the e-cigarette that we teased throughout the night and never ended up getting to it. So I always feel obligated to uh, to do that, you know, stories like that where we talk about it, but we never actually get to, to the details. And then coming up, uh, an update on the Silk Road, the underground black market where drugs and other interesting things like fake IDs are sold to anybody who wants to buy them. We'll tell you what's uh, the latest with the case of the man who's alleged to have been running the Silk Road straight from his own mother. We'll see what she has to say. Of course, you can take control of the airwaves here at 855-450-FREE. Here's a story from Examiner.com. Imagine this. You're driving down the road on your way to the grocery store, and you look over to see someone puffing away on an electronic cigarette. No big deal, right? Well, according to law enforcement in upstate New York, it is a big deal. And as of March 20th, 2014, Jason Dewing could be the first person to ever get a ticket for it. To make the story even more interesting, there's no law against vaping and driving in New York or in any other state in the United States. Apparently that's not going to stop him. But that's not what Mr. Dewing was originally cited for. Dewing was driving down the road vaping an e-cig when all of a sudden he looked up to see blue lights in his rearview mirror. His first thoughts must have been, was I speeding? Did I fail to use a turn signal? Do they think I know something about the missing Malaysia jet? <laughs> Why am I being pulled over? According to a post that he's posted in numerous vaping communities on Facebook, he was simply vaping an electronic cigarette when he was cited for using a cell phone while driving. You see, the state of New York does have laws in place that prohibit drivers from operating mobile telephones and other portable electronic devices. Oh, I see. Yes. 
According to Vehicle and Traffic Law, Distracted Driving, Talking, and Texting, Article 33, Section 1225-D, except as otherwise provided in this section, no person shall operate a motor vehicle while using any portable electronic device while such vehicle is in motion. It does go on to outline what constitutes a portable electronic device, handheld mobile telephone, personal data assistant, handheld device with mobile data access, laptop computer, pager, broadband personal communications device, two-way messaging device, electronic game, or portable computing device. According to the law, an electronic cigarette is not established as being a portable electronic device. Therefore, But Mr. it is, does have electronics in it, and it's it is true, certainly and it is portable. portable. Yeah. Mr. Doing was not doing anything that deserved a traffic ticket. Currently, there is no law against drivers smoking tobacco cigarettes while driving. It could be argued that smoking traditional cigarettes is far more distracting than smoking electronic cigarettes. In order to smoke a cigarette while driving, drivers must first fidget around in their pockets or purses to find the pack that contains the cigarettes. Then drivers must take one out, light it while smoke blows into their eyes. Finally, when drivers are finished with a the cigarette, they have to look for somewhere to extinguish the fire, and we all know how that's done. Out the window, the cigarette goes, and onto the windshield of the driver behind them. I, the, you know, this is probably a good portion of the reason that smokers get vilified um, in the world is the habit of tossing cigarettes out of uh, windows. I've certainly certainly did it back when I smoked. Mm. It's been decades um, since I've thrown a butt out of a window. But it it's you know it's disgusting. I I mean it's you know it's it's litter. In order to vape an electronic cigarette, for those of you who don't know, all a driver must do is push a button on a battery. From there, the e-juice, which is contained in the atomizer tank, is turned into vapor, which is then inhaled and exhaled the way traditional cigarettes are. Drivers spend far more time with their hands on the steering wheel and less are less distracted while vaping and than while they're smoking. I think he's making a good argument here. I mean, driving while vaping is a safer activity than driving while smoking cigarettes, yet they've ticketed this young man for uh, for vaping while driving. Well, the most dangerous part about having a cigarette um, while you're driving is, is the possibility. I mean, you know, everybody's dropped, everybody who smokes has dropped a cigarette in their lap while driving. That is a pretty distracting activity, oh, right? I bet. <laughs> you know, I mean, the only yep. thing more distracting than dropping a cigarette in your lap while driving is having a, an angry hornet in the car. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty distracting. You you know, suddenly whatever's going on out there in the world past the windshield doesn't seem very important, and that hot cigarette in your lap uh, that you're trying to you know do whatever you're going to do with over the next course of the next two or three seconds, and a lot can happen in a car in two or three seconds, especially when you're jerking all over the place trying to get a cigarette out of your lap. Right. That's if, deadly. If you drop the e-cigarette in your lap, it just turns off. As soon as you release the button, it's off. Yep, nothing happens. That's it. Um, you, you might possibly drop it at just the right angle to catch yourself in the gonads. I suppose, but it probably wouldn't be too drastic. It's certainly not as bad as a, a lit cigarette. Not a heavy device in any way, shape, or form. So it seems like in this case, this guy has a good case in that if he goes ahead and doesn't take the plea deal, then by the at least by the excerpt from the law that they're sharing on this examiner.com article it sounds like there's no case in the state's corner i mean they have absolutely nothing cuz they do outline what a por portable electronic device is and e-cigarette is not listed in that list of devices and there's no generic uh, option. Well, one of the things I think that this is great about is it shows uh, the unfa the inherent unfairness of the criminal justice system. W the problem here is, is look, you know, some cop is deciding whether or not, huh, you know, that's a portable, it's portable, it's electronic. Mm -hmm. well, I guess I should give a ticket for it and see what happens. Why not? They'll probably pay it. They probably they could very well pay it, but. I don't even know if he cares whether they pay it or not. He's just, you know, seeing whether or not this is, in fact, a portable electronic device. There are plenty of people out there that feel bad about e-cigarettes because they look like cigarettes. They're listening right now. They're they're clicking and clicking their tongue and shaking their finger at their radio about e-cigarettes, and they're all upset. Where this are guy, those people? Who cares where they are? This cop, does. it doesn't cost him one penny. Not no, one doesn't. penny. He's already on the clock. He's writing he's tickets. He's doing his thing. If he writes enough tickets, he'll probably get a bonus I for don't it. know what he'll get. Um, you're just jumping to some kind of conclusion. But the fact is that this individual is go he has to spend his time, his, mm -hmm. um, you know, his time, his precious time. That's all you've really got in this take world is time. Work. To at least take a day off of work. Hire a lawyer. Do you don't all have the to things. Hire a lawyer for this. He may, he may very well. 
you don't have to hire a lawyer it's for this. It's gone national. It's pretty clear. All you have to do is read the the statute and see if it fits. And it you doesn't in either this case. Open he either hired case. a lawyer or he didn't. Right. And if he didn't hire a lawyer, he's doing it himself. So all the all of the cost is borne by the individual. And this is what we say keeps us being keeps Western civilization from being drug into chaos and anarchy. No, this is a crappy system, and this cop should be charged the cost of the ticket if he gave a oh, bad. Wow, wouldn't that be nice? Or or his boss. Boss, or if whoever loses, awarded him to, because I bet you, I'd be willing to put money that if this guy, if this guy actually the victim here, the the driver, if he actually goes to trial, if he doesn't take the plea deal, doesn't pay the fine, I bet you that cop won't show. It could. I bet you he won't show up because he's got no case at all. I mean, this isn't like a speeding ticket case where the cops will win every single time. Most. This is pretty open and shut. It's pretty clear. I mean, I suppose there's a slight chance this guy's going to lose if he takes it to court, but uh, it's, it seems pretty crystal clear to me. But you're right, Mark. He still has to spend his time. The police officer has no penalty whatsoever uh, from doing this. And even if the cop does get the case thrown out, there's still no penalty for the police in that case. So you're right. Yeah, I, I mean that's and that's a real problem with the criminal justice system. It's a tremendous problem. It used to be at one point that people would bring charges, and as the you know the, as the policing system has matured over time, they don't do that. Or if you you know if if charges are are brought by the state, you can't even as a uh, uh, as as the victim, mm -hmm. you can't even ask for those charges to be dismissed. You can't even do it. Now, once it's in the state's hands, it's out of your hands. So, you know, it's like pulling the fire alarm. You can't control what the, the firemen do when they show up. Right. You know? So, and, and there are plenty of people listening right now who believe that somehow you bring charges against someone. No, you can report a crime, mm -hmm. and the police will do whatever the police do in that circumstance. You can't file your own complaint against somebody? Not that, not as far as I understand. That's only a civil situation. Toll-free number here tonight, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I mean, who could possibly be in favor of restricting people vaping? We've talked about these people. They must exist. But I don't think any of them have ever called the show. If you're one of those people who thinks that vapors should be restricted to the same places as cigarette smokers, we want to hear from you. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc 
as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPRadio.com. The monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc, and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want. Just dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. And I especially want to hear from you. If you're one of the people, and you must be in a minority, I would hope, one of those people who think that e-cigarette users should be facing the same kind of restrictions as cigarette smokers. I really want to hear from you as to why. The the common excuse given by the government bureaucrats who are attempting to restrict e-cigarette users is that they think that it's so much like smoking that it's going to encourage young people to smoke cigarettes. Yeah, basically their complaint is it looks like smoking. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, when I was little, we had little plastic cigarettes. uh, Not plastic. Candy cigarettes. Candy cigarettes that you you could actually blow through the little tube in the middle. And a little poof would come out. A little little poof of like, uh, you know, chalk dust (laughs) would come out. Confectioner sugar or something like that. Yeah, something like that. And uh, Those were so cool, man. I remember those. uh, Well... Can you I get those these days? Foul. Yes, you can buy anything on the internet. But I thought they were pretty foul tasting, oh, honestly. Oh, the, the gum was awful. These were chalky candy of some sort. No, okay, so there's two kinds of candy cigarettes There's uh, that I've experienced in my life. So there's the candy cigarette that uh, you're describing where you can blow. It's got like a piece of paper around the outside of it like a, like a cigarette would. And then inside it's gum. And you blow, yes. you, you blow through it and there's like the sugar poof that comes out. But there's also just long stick candy. That's also called like just a white stick that doesn't have a piece of paper around the outside. It's just a stick. Yeah. It's just I've had both dumb. of these. Um, so the, I like the ones with the gum where you can blow the little smoke thing, but the, the, the stick ones are kind of lame. Yeah. So I don't know where we were going with candy cigarettes, but yes. Well, the, the, they look like e-cigarettes, all, or they look like cigarettes also. Mm-hmm. Should we ban those too? Um, Should I, children who are using uh, candy cigarettes be forced to go outside? I don't think kids are even allowed to get the things anymore. <laughs> um, but you I don't mean, think? I, I, I think you you'd have to order them on the internet. No, because there was a candy store in downtown Keene where they had candy cigarettes. Well, here's what I think. I wonder whether if you went into, like, let's say I went on an airplane or a restaurant and I decided to pull out my candy cigarettes and blow confectionery sugar out of the end. Would they, you know, Uh-oh. would the cigarette police have to outlaw <laughs> that too? Yeah. So share with us your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. Also, manventureoutpost.com is the place for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear. They carry name brands you want at the lowest prices. Handguns, long guns, ammunition, knives, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, optics, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, holsters, water purification, tents, apparel, and boating equipment. Manventureoutpost.com family owned, and they have the lowest prices, but don't take my word for it. Go and see for yourself and check around. Get it and get it quick from manventureoutpost.com. Yeah, check them out for ammo. Um, they have really great prices on ammunition. and uh, I hear that stuff's hard to find. 
Well, it's getting easier to find, okay, and you know their their selection is increasing. They've had as much trouble as anybody in k- keeping it on site, but uh, they also, you know, they they have most major brands of handguns and long guns, and it, you can get them at the best prices there at manventureoutpost.com. So the e-cigarette users are kind of the new persecuted class. One man has been ticketed in upstate New York for driving while vaping. Of course, that's not actually a charge. He was charged with using a portable electronic device while driving, which I think is pretty ridiculous, and I hope that he'll not take the plea deal on this and go all the way to trial where he hopefully will inevitably win that case. But it does bring up the the larger issue, and we've been covering this e-cigarette controversy for the last uh, several years, or the last few years here on Free Talk Live, and it's been bubbling up recently with cities like, I think, Chicago, New York, and Los Angeles, the most recent city that has banned the use of e-cigarettes in all of the same places where cigarette users are banned. So now if you're in a bar in Los Angeles and you want to use an e-cigarette, you'll have to go outside with the rest of the cigarette smokers, which, of course, is one of the reasons why people switch to e-cigarettes in the first place, because they can, in theory, use it, or they used to, and in most places in America, they can use their e-cigarette in a bar or in a restaurant or wherever indoors, they in a movie theater, wherever they are, and well, that's a big reason to make the switch. Another reason, of course, being that they're arguably a lot better for you. Well, th- certainly there's that, but the fact is is that e-cigarette users can, uh, because it's vapor and it's not smoke, they can draw a small amount into their lungs and just hold it there until it dissipates. Mm-hmm. So this law is kind of, uh, you know, it, it, it kind of just forces people to make their e-cigarettes look less like cigarettes. Because you, they've got them that look like pens and a mm. variety of things. So. Someone was suggesting that uh, they should look like an an asthma inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> So you can share your thoughts if you want, especially, you know, it's it's easy to get e-cigarette users to call in and talk about how, you know, they're being persecuted, and I agree with you. But really, I want to hear from somebody who thinks, this is good. We need to stop the e-cigarette users because of the children. The children might see those e-cigarette users and think it's cool. And by the way, you know, it is kind of cool. They, uh, it tastes good. It's not as nasty as smoke. It's much more pleasant to be around someone using an e-cigarette. But the idea that using an e-cigarette is going to lead someone to smoking cigarettes, I just find to be absolutely ridiculous. Um, I Maybe there's like a very small percentage well, of people a small, who there's would. A, there's a small percentage of people that, that uh, slip and die in the shower. Yeah. I mean, but we still use showers. I don't know. The fact is, is that the question is, is what is the, the social cost um, here? And... I think what you're doing is, is you're disincentivizing people to switch to what appears to be a healthier choice. Now, uh, you know, there's no science that says that it's healthier because to get the FDA on your side is going to require a tremendous amount of money. And nobody's really interested. It seems obvious to people that it's lacking a, a, a whole bunch of carcinogens, so it must be better for you. I wonder how many deaths have been caused by e-cigarettes. Um, well, none that would be attributed. Or attri- well, there have been some malfunctions uh, on the part of some e-cigarettes. I know one guy I was talking with uh, in the past told me that he was toking on his uh, e-cigarette while driving, and something went wrong where it blasted the nicotine fluid into his mouth. <laughs> oh, God, that could kill you. Yeah, I've heard that it's pretty dangerous to uh, to swallow any decent amount of, the, or even even small amounts of the nicotine. Fluid, Nicotine's uh, well, they use it for, as rat poison. Yeah, I guess he spat it out uh, out of his window idea. or something like that, and he was okay. But that could have been a, a shocking surprise. But I think for the most part, you're talking about a very rare incident when something like that would happen. So they seem to be overall fairly safe. Anything that can get people from stopping smoking cigarettes seems like a good thing to me. It would seem that way, but unfortunately they're being persecuted, and I think it's outrageous. But if you are one who thinks they should be restricted, that they should not be able to be used in restaurants or in you know in the workplace, etc., I would love to hear from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Also want to talk about uh, the situation with the Silk Road and the alleged founder. His name is Ross Ulbricht, and we haven't done an update on his case in a little while, and that's because, well, it's the federal court system, and things don't exactly move too fast. Justice's terrible swift sword. So when it comes to uh, federal, any court system, things tend to move pretty slowly. From what I understand, he's still sitting in a prison cell uh, being held. They're going through the discovery process. Remember when um, you were taught in school that you had a right to a speedy trial? 
I mean, you thought that trials might be speedy at that point. Well, apparently speedy means it doesn't take your whole lifetime. Yeah, it doesn't take a trial. decade, generally. So they're going through the discovery process, and wearechange.org has an interview with Ross Ulbricht's mother. We'll tell you more about what the Silk Road is, why Ross was uh, arrested, and what the status is of his case. Because there's a pretty big bit of news here that Lynn, his mother, breaks in this video from We Are Change. I think it's pretty important. We'll share it with you coming up here in moments. Free Talk Live. You take control. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer. Yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of... Where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because... I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of Namecoin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. After vetting the 37-year-old for factors such as looks, screen presence, and film credits, Hollywood insiders unanimously agreed this week that area man Dennis Kierning lacks the sheer star power necessary to carry a major motion picture. Industry experts spoke to reporters today about the Charlottesville, Virginia resident, who they say just doesn't have what it takes to crack into the A-list. Love him or hate him, I think we can all agree that Dennis Kierning is not a bankable star. He's got to have sex appeal, talent, charisma, and most importantly, that X factor. I should want to sleep with Dennis. I should want to be Dennis. Do I want to be Dennis? No. Experts agreed the Virginia native and father of one does not have the widespread appeal required to secure a distribution deal with wide release, while also saying they had no reason to believe Kierning would ever be capable of delivering the type of powerhouse performance that generates buzz at Sundance, Cannes, or Comic-Con. This is the Onion News Network. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM.
This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves. The latest on the Silk Road coming up here in a few moments. Your calls and thoughts certainly welcome at 855-450-FREE. That's 855 450 Three seven three three, and you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. We've got listening options. Listen to us via live streams, radio stations, satellite options. There's a webcam and listen lines that allow you to call from any phone that can dial long distance. You can go to listen.freetalklive.com to learn more about all of those. At coffee.freetalklive.com, you can get a free pound of the best of the best coffee. It's Buzzbox coffee. It's shade grown. It's 100% organic, and it's top 1% grade Arabica. The coffee's uh, now a, a very absorbent cro- product. As a matter of fact, I think that the only product that's more absorbent than coffee is uh, tobacco. And that makes the organic uh, certification that much more important with BuzzBox. You don't know which countries um, are producing your coffee that use, for instance, leaded gas. That's kind of a disturbing uh, idea. BuzzBox is competitively priced with other high-end coffees out there. But they do something that other coffee producers don't seem to care for. That's they set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their co-op. They also work with World Vision to use some of the profits to create to fund microloans. That's what Free Talk Live's doing, and we're attempting to recruit a thousand listeners like you, coffee drinkers, so that we can uh, to buy their coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com, and we can finance a hundred microloans through World Vision. You can help us change lives by offering people in poverty an opportunity to change their own lives. And that's the only thing that's going to work, and you know it. Get started now by getting your free pound of coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com. You sign up for a uh, subscription program there. When you sign up, uh, you're going to have to give your credit card information, that kind of thing. You can cancel after your first shipment. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. All right. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We can talk more about the Silk Road here in a little bit. But uh, folks have thoughts they want to share about the vaping situation where vapers, e-cigarette users, are being restricted in more cities, Los Angeles being one of the most recent where e-cigarette users are basically suffering from the same restrictions as cigarette users. I'm wondering if anybody actually supports that idea. Tom is in Connecticut. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Tom in Connecticut. You are on the air, sir. Go ahead. Hello. I would just like to say (laughs) that you don't always die from tobacco, and sometimes you die from vaping. (laughs) Thanks for the call, Tom. I appreciate it. 855-450 free. I don't think there's any evidence to back up his statements, but kind of funny. He's playing like he's got one of those voice box things. How do you know? To his Maybe he does. Yeah, I don't believe that for I a moment. Want, I haven't yet heard of the vaping death, but it has to have occurred. I've also right? not heard of the person holding a voice box up to their uh, hole in their throat from vaping too much because of the cancer that spread to their throat. I haven't throat. heard that either. No. Yeah, I haven't heard of that either. Uh, let's go to Jeff. He's in West Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Jeff. Hey folks. Hey, I I'm, I'm I pretty much believe that anybody should be able to do what they want to unless they're hurting someone else and I'm not exactly an expert on e-cigs, but if e-cigarettes are meant to uh inhale nicotine and if you're in close confines with someone else where they can be inhaling nicotine and maybe in a, and in the case where a lot of these things are being made in China, they could be uh uh have lead in them or uh, uh, any number of heavy metals or whatever, uh, it, it just seemed like a situation where it could actually uh, hurt someone else. Therefore, I don't know if they should be restricted in the same sense as regular cigarettes, but uh, some common sense restrictions seem to, 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 to be in play. I don't know what y'all think. Uh, I just, uh, it just seems to me kind of like I wouldn't want to breed one around my five-year-old kid. And, yeah, I wouldn't uh, blow it in their and, face. Um, but I, what it, one one thing that I think is is that first off, uh, e-cigarettes have far fewer carcinogens than uh, cigarettes do. And you probably, like I did, grew up in a world where people smoked around you, right? Right. So, um, you know, I mean, the the question is, you know, what standard do we apply? It's certainly not the application of the standard that we, there was going on thirty years ago when you and I were young. Um, so. Poisons in the dose. Uh, the question is how many parts per million of nicotine, uh, which is just one of the poisons that are in cigarettes versus the um, hundreds that are in cigarettes versus uh, e-cigarettes. So how many parts per million is actually you know a, a bad thing to be in the say the same room with uh, somebody else? Uh, also the age and the health of that person probably comes into play. I would say that 
uh, the car you drive puts more particulate matter and more carcinogens into people's lungs than the e-cigarette that you may smoke. I mean, that's kind of one of those things where it's kind of one of those things where you don't let your kid drink uh, uh, Coke for obvious reasons until they come to be a certain age. But what age is that? Doing a whole, I don't know. Me it depends on the parent, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> very young time, children you having things kid. like that. And this is the the, yeah. the thing is, how do people raise themselves? My son has never tasted cola. Um, he's five. So I'm going to be six here shortly. Um you know, maybe he'll never, maybe maybe he'll never even want it as a result. I don't know, but others, other people's children have it. Have you, at the uh, same Jeff? Time, though, you don't give your kid diet soda either. You know, but there might be less sugar in it, but there's so much other stuff in it. You know, I mean, it's just kind of one of those deals that's it's hard to really tell. We don't even really know what is being, you know, put into those e-cigs, especially from uh, the other countries. Have you ever been around uh, e-cigarette user? Yeah, my wife smokes them. Okay, and uh, so what's it like for you? I mean, is it uh, is it an irritation? No, no, I'm an ex smoker, so she smokes around me and uses the cigarettes sometimes, and uh, and uh, personally, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I worry about the e cigarettes just because. I have absolutely no clue what's in them for her sake. Yeah. Now, wouldn't you, you know, be able to, I mean, I'm sure there are people who are interested like you in knowing what's in them. So there have been analyses done on various different brands. Wouldn't one be able to go online and do that research and, you know, allay those fears and concerns? There's plenty of e-cigarette juice that's produced here in the United States. If mm-hmm. it's foreign countries that disturb you, um, you know, I know my, my nephew produces this stuff um, mm-hmm. and, He's probably not going out and uh, finding as much arsenic to cut it with as possible. <laughs> I'm just guessing. <laughs> right, and nobody's well, most talk- people that I know are buying those at like grocery stores and like you know convenience stores, and overwhelmingly the the things that the, the, the things that where I see them being distributed are 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 they're they're made in China, and I'm yeah. not trying to pick on China. It just happens to be where I see the packaging from. Yeah, right. I, mean, there's I, different- I, I would agree with you that um, that. You know, like I'm a little disturbed by some things, especially things that I put in my body that I get from foreign countries, and China's kind of on the top of that list, and for no good reason than it's just kind of this scary thing out there. It's ridiculous. There are all kinds of manufacturing uh, technologies in China, some better than others. You can get good products from China, and you can get really crappy products from China, just like the United States. Thank you, Jeff, for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Pete in Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live, Pete. Hi, I have a, an e-cig, and I smoke it in my house, and I've had people come over that uh, don't smoke, and I said, does my house smell like smoke? And they said, no, it doesn't smell like smoke. But uh, on the other hand, uh, I've, I've worked in offices before where I have secretaries that are like, uh, it's like they bathe in perfume, and that's almost, it's, it's given me... Um, Virus infections from smelling their perfume oh, all day wow. long, and uh, another thing too. I mean, I know you promote coffee. I don't, I'm not a coffee drinker, but uh, I worked in an office upstairs, and they had a coffee pot downstairs, and uh, they let the thing sit there and just simmer all day long, and that's almost nauseous. To oh, me. the burned coffee smell is terrible. I smelled it when I walked in here yeah. tonight for whatever reason. Well, I never even smell it. With most e-cigarette smokers, it, you have to be pretty close, and they oh, have yeah. to have a pretty powerful vaporizer for you to smell anything. Absolutely. Like anything at all. And that's and in the rare instance that you smell something, it usually smells pretty good. Um Whereas, you know, like the argument that I don't need to smell anything that stinks in the world obviously is a specious argument <laughs> um, because sure, some people like I mean, some smells an and some people don't. If you're getting a sinus infection, that's the thing where you can you well, can take action by going to management and saying, look, this has gone too far. Maybe I need, to, need hear, to hear a doctor's uh, uh, you know diagnosis that he was actually infected. But, but it stinks <laughs> to have, you know, stinky perfume, too. But this is a private property issue. And Pete, thank you for your call tonight. If there's an offensive odor at your workplace, you can work that out in the workplace through whatever the internal processes are. You don't need to go to the government and have a law passed to restrict perfume. More coming up. You can take control on Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. 
To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. It's time to kick some ash. Because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate e-liquid by LaSig. Because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. LaSig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaSig. Dot com, spelled L-E-C-I-G dot com. LeSig e-cigarettes. Kick some ash. I'm David Cordeni, President and CEO of Cigna. We're proud to support the March of Dimes by walking in the March for Babies. It feels great to know that the money we raise funds life-saving research and programs that improve the health of babies. With your help, we can make this year better than ever. Join Cigna and our coworkers across the country in March for Babies to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthier babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org and march to help our babies. Thank you. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks in cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want here toll-free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. We are talking about e-cigarettes and the impending bans and existing bans on the use of them that exist in certain big cities like Los Angeles, New York City. Uh, you can share your thoughts, especially if you're somebody who thinks that they, sh they should be banned. There was a concern earlier from a listener who's uh, worried about lead and other chemicals and or metals that may be present allegedly in the uh, the e-cigarettes. Unfortunately, searching for lead and e-cigarette is a very, very difficult thing to do because lead is spelled the same as lead, and most of the articles that come up are 
Could e-cigarettes lead to something or other? So it's actually pretty difficult to find any. Darn you, English language. (laughs) Um, There is one, though, that comes up from some sort of tobacco control organization, but you have to, like, sign into the website, and it's... Not exactly easy information to access. So there are allegations out there. There's a claim that there's some If I lead. was a tobacco company, I would certainly be claiming that there was all kinds of horrifying things. No, in- it's a control, tobacco okay. control group. Uh, no, the tobacco companies are doing what they should be doing, and that is getting into the e-cigarette business. So we can continue with your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. Have you heard about Bitcoins in the news? And have you been interested in acquiring Bitcoins? A lot of people have asked me about this. What's the best way to go about doing it? Might be a good time to do it right now. They're down a little bit. They've been in the 600 range. They're in the 500 range this uh, last couple of days. Yeah, they've been in uh, 650 to 620 for quite some time. I'm seeing them at 565 right now. Damn, it's on sale. Yeah, it might be on sale. So cashofthecoins.com is a great place to get them. Uh, You can just... There, the instructions are clear. If you go to cashandcoins.com, the instructions are clear. Um, they're, it's easy, it's safe, it's fast, it's legal, it's inexpensive. Customer service is their top priority. I have gone through Cash and the Coins to get a, a lot of uh, spent, change a lot of dollars into bitcoins, and I'm happy I did. You can use money order, check, wire transfer, whatever you want. The rates are great, too. You can uh, actually donate some of the fee that you have to charity. And as always, orders under $40 carry no fee. So Cash and the Coins wants you to get your first Bitcoins without any fee. Awesome. Just do a little bit. Cashandthecoins.com. Your first one's free. <laughs> no, it's great. Cashandthecoins.com works very, very well, and I'll probably use them again in the future. You can join us on the air here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And don't forget, we've got Skype. Skype in at username lrn.fm. Let's go to Diane, or excuse me, Dane, actually. It's Dane in Florida. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Dane. You're on the air. Go ahead with your thoughts. Um, yeah, you're just talking about bans on uh, e-cigarettes um, and um, I don't think anything should be banned by the government personally, but um, as a, a young ex-smoker myself, um, when I go into public places where smoking is not um, allowable, you know, if you want to smoke a cigarette, you have to go outside, and you see someone smoking an e-cigarette inside, it just looks incredibly inappropriate. Um, it's like aesthetically unpleasing um, to me as an ex-smoker, um, and uh I'm sure to those with, like, you know, young children, if they're still smoking e-cigarettes in places where normal cigarettes would be banned, it's just, it's a little uncomfortable. What What is so, aesthetically as, uh, unpleasing about someone using an e-cigarette? It's just the the, the, the idea that they're they're smoking indoors. It's it's not, not really rational. Yeah. I understand there's no odor. Um, they're not smoking. It's not I really mean, a rational thing. Are you saying it's unpleasing because you're so used to not seeing people... Uh, moving a white stick-like thing to their mouth inside when they're indoors? It is, it is, it is certainly like a contextual cultural thing. Uh, mm. You know, it's like, you know, if you want to, if you want to, I, I, I guess smoking maybe isn't the right uh, verbiage. Um, using an e-cigarette. Vaping. Vaping um, would be the, I think, the most vaping. common term. There, there you go. Um it's just, yeah, you, you you see a stick. It looks like they're smoking a cigarette, and they take it away from the mouth, and, you know, white smoke is coming out of their mouth. And I've seen this in, like, these, vapor, you know, family vapor. It's vapor. <laughs> uh, look, now, as a former smoker, does it bother you? Does it make you want to smoke a cigarette when, when you see that happen? Is that what's going on here? No, I just, I, I kind of project myself into other people's views, and I can imagine if I had young children with me, um, as there were others with them, and... They saw that kind of behavior, that kind of action in this location. Uh, it's it just, well, I don't know how to word it. It's 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 uh, not. It's worrying. It's, it's worrying. Irrationally, right? Irrational is a good term to use for this. So when I was young, you went. Um, I'm 43 years old. Everywhere you went, they had they smoked on planes when I was little, <laughs> and uh, you know some people grew up to smoke and some people didn't. Our generation smoked less than the generation that were our parents, and so the idea that somehow we're going to you know kids are going to be turned on to smoking by e-cigarettes seems unlikely. But um, you know the the other thing about this is that when you you know what about the health of the individual i mean you know the individual who's vaping is now you know being healthier and secondly what about the property rights of the business owner 
don't you think that if if I open a what restaurant, property rights? Right. Well, that's it's 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 laughable. Don't you think if I open a restaurant, I should be able to let people smoke in my restaurant? Don't you think I should be able to put a sign over the door that says "Smoking Restaurants"? Parents, beware! Mm-hmm. Your children will be turned into smokers if you walk in the door. <laughs> Flashing neon signs that say, carcinogens in the air. People mm. will come into my business, and they will buy my food, and they will buy my alcohol, because it's the only place that they can go to do it, because the government has outlawed every other place from doing it. No, I, I, I wouldn't say that that's unreasonable at all. And I think if, if you are a smoker and then you turn to e-cigarettes, I think that is a much healthier thing to do. And that's the vast majority uh, of people. better course of action. Um, but uh, maybe I'll give you a little context. The place that I have seen this in that has bothered me was a local family gaming store where they play card games. They rent out computers and video game systems for little kids while they're uh, – their parents do other things, and if you want to go have a cigarette in there, you have to go outside. Now, there are some people who vape who actually the business order stopped allowing them to do it. Oh, my uh, goodness. There you go. Sitting at a table. <laughs> that, that's it. There's the market. That's what we're talking table. about right. here. That's the market solving problems. Dane, thanks for sharing your thoughts tonight. Appreciate it at 855-450 free. That's it, it may not s- be appropriate to walk in with your uh, backpack sized vaping unit and mm-hmm. sta- stand around in the, uh, you know, the, the, the baby uh, pajama section of the local, um, you know, boutique that sells nothing but children's goods. Like, maybe that's an inappropriate place, just sort of culturally to do that. But you don't need the government but to whenever ban whenever the it. government goes in, the government the government constantly wields a machete and never wields a scalpel. Well, right, because these smoking bans, or excuse me, the, vape, the new vaping ban in a place like Los Angeles, it just applies to everything. Bars, restaurants, anywhere that, you know, that adults, there are only a few exemptions. One exemption would be a vaping store, so you can actually go into a vaping store and use your vaporizer there. Another exemption. Oh, thanks. Another exemption was for filming. So if like there's a movie or something like that, then then if you're acting, it's it is okay. California, after all. Yeah. So that was pretty much it. Uh, obviously, if you're in your own home, you can do it. But otherwise, if you're in any sort of place where any any member of the public could come into, you're not allowed to be vaping there. It really uh, diminishes, uh, you know, it really speaks to what people in the government think about your ability to uh, to, to think, mm. the cognition to discern. on your part. Yeah. You know, I mean, oh, I've seen a person with a vaporizer. I must get one and start immediately. I am an ex-smoker. I sometimes think about smoking. Um, You've I've, used a vaporizer. I've used it, but I don't use it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just want to sort of try them out. Sometimes I want to do it. But yeah, I used one for a little while, and I've never smoked a cigarette. Well, the one you used actually didn't have any nicotine in it. Well, no, I got some ultralights. Okay, you got some that actually some just, just had to have some of that nicotine for yourself, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, I've used nicotine before. I've used uh, hookah, and I've used I've, I've actually smoked a hand-rolled cigarette uh, but I've never actually smoked manufactured cigarettes. Every once point. in a while, I want to smoke a cigar, but I want to do those in places. You know, I'd love to be able to smoke a cigar in a cigar bar, but I don't think there's any place around. You know, New Hampshire outlawed the smoking of anything and businesses. You could still get around it by doing private bar. You could still do a private club situation, and that may be a way around it for uh, for people that want to allow vaping in their businesses in places like Los Angeles, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm certainly no expert in the law uh, in those areas, but it's outrageous. Let the market decide. In the case of the video game store that the guy was telling us about, the manager decided, okay, I've gotten enough complaints from parents no more vaping. Sorry, you know, sorry my male customers in their 30s who are still living at home in mom's basement. You're not allowed to use vaporizers in my store anymore. And obviously, maybe some of them got upset about it and said, well, that's it. I'm never coming here again. And that's a decision that the manager had to make or the owner had to make based on how many complaints he was getting. You know, is it worth it to tell the vaporizer users that they can't vape inside anymore? Well, I think that should be the truth for smoking, too. If I want to let people smoke in my business, they should be able to smoke in my business. But that's just it. There are some people who own businesses that don't have the cojones to tell their, their, uh, their customers that they can't do something. They well, would no, rather they could... blame it on the government. I suppose that's it. That's it. But there's a lot of busybodies out there that just want to control what you do in your business, too. We'll come back with more here in moments. But the people who's, who are in business who supported these bands, those are the kind of people there. They're cowards. More coming up. Quantum vibe. It's year 2523. There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury. People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed. With brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant set out on an adventure through the solar system on a secret mission to find the key to access new frontiers and save liberty. Quantumvibe.com from Big Head Press. 
flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. Get donor oak laminate flooring for only 49 cents a square foot. Exotic black mamba hand scraped bamboo for just $1.89. Even three quarter inch pre-finished hickory hardwood for an unheard of $2.59 a square foot. They've got free samples at your local store plus 22 months special financing available. So go to lumberliquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand. And this is Jessica Armand. Here with your Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Gold open today at $1,326, silver at $20.29, and Bitcoin is trading at $592. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush, online at SovereignBTC.com. And from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy at 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216624. And from the Soleil School, enrolling children from 5 through 10 in Austin, visit soleilschool.com. And now the news. Security fixes that address the problems Mt. Gox blamed for the loss of bitcoins were put into place Wednesday. PC World reports that the software, known as Bitcoin QT, has been renamed as Bitcoin Core. The rebranding is intended to show that it runs the core infrastructure of the cryptocurrency's transaction and verification network. According to the release notes, the latest version of Bitcoin software contains more than a half dozen fixes for transaction malleability. A surprise appearance Tuesday at the 2014 TED conference in Vancouver, Canada. Brian Hagen has this story. NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, by use of a remote-controlled satellite robot, appeared on stage to address the conference goers, outlining why he took the risk to make off with 1.7 million documents from the agency. I don't want to harm my government. I want to help my government. Snowden told the crowd that stopping terrorism is not the goal of the NSA's massive surveillance program. The bottom line is that terrorism has always been what we in the intelligence world would call a cover for action. Terrorism is something that provokes an emotional response that allows people to rationalize authorizing uh, powers and programs that they wouldn't give otherwise. Snowden concluded his talk by saying, We don't have to give up our privacy to have good government. We don't have to give up our liberty to have security. I'm Brian Hagan reporting for the Liberty Beat. The Obama administration won't give up the fight on climate change. On Wednesday, the White House revealed a new website serving as a one-stop location for a massive amount of climate change data. The LA Times reports the information contained on the site had previously been spread across the websites of numerous government agencies. The website is President Obama's latest move to deliver on his promise to use his executive authority to confront climate change despite congressional inaction. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering ProPure water filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water as well. 
find them in Austin at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. And from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com. And from Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Wednesday, Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen stated the U.S. Central Bank would likely end its bond buying program by the fall and begin raising interest rates in the first half of 2015. Speaking at her first news conference as chair, Yellen discussed the bond buying program known as quantitative easing. Yellen stated that the Fed planned to wait a considerable time before pushing up interest rates. When further questioned how long this would actually take, the chairwoman's answer? Six months. The General Counsel in the Office of the Director of National Intelligence told the U.S. Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board that a recently revealed foreign surveillance program is specific with its targets and not bulk data collection. Robert Lidd is quoted here, getting a whole bunch of communications, hanging on to them, and then figuring out later what you want. This is not that. This is a situation where we figure out what we want, and we get that specifically. Lit was responding to a Washington Post report on the Mystic program, which reportedly is capable of recording 100% of a foreign country's telephone calls. You've been listening to The Liberty Beat. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. The manatee is a solitary creature. Drifting along in the warm, peaceful shallows, they are not usually held in a small glass enclosure with three other male manatees hell-bent on the violent, forced sex that I, for real, saw with my own eyes while alone one night at SeaWorld, San Diego. A distant relative of the elephant, the manatee has a prehensile upper lip which it uses to gather food. It also has a large penis. Classified as endangered, human boaters often cause serious wounds to manatee's flippers, rendering it difficult for this one poor little rescue manatee to escape a large male manatee intent on unwanted anal intercourse. One needed not to look in that little manatee victim's cold, soul-sapped eyes to know this was not the first time this had happened, nor would it be the last. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program. You can take control here on this live Saturday edition with you tonight. It's Ian. And Mark. And we've got a website. You go to freetalklive.com. You can create the content. What you see on the front page was created by listeners like you. As you scroll down the page, you'll see different news stories, maybe YouTube videos, blog posts, opinions from our listeners. You can post whatever you want to freetalklive.com, and then other listeners will decide whether or not what you posted is interesting. Because you can vote up or down as long as you have a Reddit account on everything there on the front page. So you can create the content for us and then we'll look at it before the show and talk about some of it maybe on the air. In fact, there's a story uh, that I've been wanting to get to. Maybe we'll get to that here in a moment. But we're going to your phone calls first. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. We've got Skype at username lrn.fm. So you just go to freetalklive.com. You can get interactive. You do need to have a Reddit account and Free Talk Live account. You can go to the website and not have either of those things. But if you want to interact... If you want to vote on the, the news stories there on the front page, you do need to have those things. And then it'll be easy for you to link those two accounts together. It's a very simple process. It'll only take you a moment to go through it. And then once you're done with that, you're good to go from that point on into the future. Let's go to the phones, though. Still to come, the latest on Ross Ulbricht. He is the man alleged to be Dread Pirate Roberts, the very same person supposedly who has been running the Silk Road in the past, the Silk Road being an anonymous black market where drugs and other interesting things that you can't buy legally in most places are sold. We'll tell you what's going on with his case. But first, Justin is in Iowa. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hey, Justin. 
Hey, Ian, how's it going? Uh, Great. I appreciate the chance to speak to both you and Mark tonight. Oh, no problem. We do it every single night, so I uh, appreciate you calling in. What's on your mind tonight? Well, I, I, I want to talk about something uh, that doesn't apply to your topic that you've been on, but uh, sorry about that. It's Free Talk Live. You don't have to apologize for calling in to bring up what you want. That's kind of the point of the show. Go ahead with your thoughts. Yeah, well, um, I just want to discuss something that I've heard you and Mark and uh, other hosts on Free Talk Live talk about is, uh, you know, conspiracy theory and what is your, you know, ecumenical definition of this phrase or this term? And, you know, if you could just break it down for me. Yeah, it's really tough to, to describe what a what a conspiracy theory is. I was recently listening to Rush Limbaugh, and he was sort of uh, pontificating about what the uh, the Clinton war machine was up to as far as Hillary and her uh, running for president or whatever. And that's complete conspiracy theory. He's just, you know, he's he's talking about he how he knows what the liberals doing uh, like every inch of his glorious naked body. He's still using the same shtick from 25 years ago. And uh, you know, I mean, it's conspiracy theory. Now, I think that there's some of it that kind of gets lumped into a couple of sort of crackpot categories, if you will. Um, you know, the idea that many politicians are actually um, alien lizard people from outer space uh, that can shapeshift and are, you know, ruling the world. Yep, pretty pretty crazy. Um, and there's also, of course, all the UFO conspiracy theory out there, too. That's in a, sort of another category. And then you'll hear the 9-11 conspiracy theories. You'll hear a, a variety of them. And they move more and more into reality until they are reality from where I stand, which is probably in the, the realm that I believe some conspiracy theories. So my answer to the question, Justin, is a conspiracy theory is a theory that has to do with people conspiring, which usually requires uh, at least two people, and to conspire means to do so in secret, to plot something in secret, um, and in theory, usually uh, the conspiracy meaning that usually it has something negative. You know, that's kind of their goal is to do something negative. So there's my answer for you. Right, because if you if if it wasn't negative, then it would be you know. Uh, solidarity. It would be something that would be admi to be admired. Well, it would be a pro conspiracy theory, I think, at that point. I don't know if that's true. But what was your point? Well, Why just, were you calling to ask about to, that? Well, I'm just trying to make the point that, like, when you break the two words, the, the two, you know, the parts, if you break it into two, conspiracy has a definition, right? And theory has a definition. So, what are what's your definition of conspiracy? <clears throat> a conspiracy is some people getting together and planning something, right? Usually in secret. Yep. Where are we going? I'm smelling primroses here. Show me the path. Well, the the, the state is is uh, you know, convicting or indicting people of conspiracy, uh, you know, with regularity. Oh yeah, it does that. Yep. But that's never referred to as conspiracy theory. Why not? Well, if it's uh, not a theory, uh, then it's not a theory, right? So are you talking about the state indicting people? That's usually done out in the open. There's there's facts involved in that. No one well, is They're claiming that a conspiracy occurred, though. The state is uh, claiming that a conspiracy occurred uh, to commit some crime or another, mm -hmm. right? Well, just like you guys were talking the other day, you know, conspiracy to commit prostitution, you know, it was, uh, I think, Ian and Daryl speaking about that. Yeah, that would be the, the so, people calling themselves the state coming up with a theory about uh, what it is that you were doing, and or then, allegedly. And, and, and then demanding to prove that theory in a court of law. Many people take the, uh, the plea bargain before ever getting to court, so the theory then moves in a legal sense from theory to fact. That's what a court does, is a court establishes what occurred. I'm not saying they actually do it, but, um, the, you know, that's the idea from a legal standpoint. Anything else you want to share tonight, Justin? Well, you got me, I guess. I, don't, I wasn't I trying guess, to get you. you. Know, I guess. I don't know well, why you think. Well, I guess if you're outside the, you know, the, you know, the allowable opinion, right, then, then you're a conspiracy theorist. 
No, I don't think we said anything about that. You asked what the definition of a conspiracy and theory was, and we gave you the definition. Anyone who's theorizing about people who are plotting in secret is therefore putting forth a conspiracy theory. And there are all kinds of them. Mark, you were talking about with Rush Limbaugh. He's fully within the mainstream, but he was putting out a conspiracy theory about the the Clintons, what he thought they were conspiring to do in secret, right? That's a conspiracy theory. I think that people pr- uh, promote conspiracy – everybody pretty much con- promotes a conspiracy theory every single day. It's just a variety of different ones and that there's uh, there's a small minority of them that are called conspiracy theories these days. And it usually has to do with the sort of 9-11 con- conspiracy theory crowd. Personally, I like to stay away from theorizing and you, I like to stay con- – You theorize right here on the show. I like to stay on the path of what's provable and what's obvious. Obvious and what's in your face, like police violence and the state always re- You'll restricting people's freedoms. You'll believe any conspiracy that comes to police that comes down the line. Anybody that makes any accusation, you're like, yep, I believe it. Thanks, Justin, for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, well, wait a minute, Mark. So what are you talking about? Give me a, a, a better example about that, like how police are corrupt and they hurt people. I mean, there's obvious truth to that. It's difficult to know in any given circumstance what occurred. Um, yeah, I mean, it's. I think that every – I think we need fair courts, and we don't have those. Usually when you're talking about a police story, there's one side and there's the other. And when one side says the police were abusive and the police say the opposite – I choose a side, but that doesn't mean I'm theorizing. I'm just believing someone's story. In that their case. theory. I mean, they're, they're, if they're you are the one story. who was attacked by the police, you're not theorizing. You're okay. telling your story. Right, but then you're a theorist by believing it, unless you have proof. The proof is that someone told me it happened. That's not proof. That's good enough for me. If the person I know. has, if the person has a mark on their face and they say it was a cop that did it to them, and I have, and that person has uh, validity in my mind, if they are a believable person, in radio, I'm going to believe them over the cop. In radio, cops lie. In radio, we rarely see uh, people with marks on their face. People call in, mm-hmm. they claim things. Yep, yeah, and I'm more likely to believe the average person than to believe a cop because I've seen cops lie time and time again. You're a conspiracy theorist. Uh, you know, police conspiracy theorist sympathetic. Toll free number here is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. I disagree with your interpretation, Mark, but we'll move on here. So, the definition of conspiracy, according to dictionary.com, is an evil, unlawful, treacherous, or surreptitious plan formulated in secret by two or more persons. Also, a combination of persons for a secret, unlawful, or evil purpose. 855 450 free. You can take control of the airwaves and bring up whatever's on your mind. By that definition, Mark, the person claiming the police have beaten them is not conspiring in any way, shape, or form. There's not a second person. They're lying. Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us The future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 
877-357-9938. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm going to tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm going to tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet, with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you'd like toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. And you can join us online over at Free State, wait, <laughs> freetalklive.com, right as Mark hands me the uh, information about the Free State Project. Not that I need to be handed information to talk about the Free State Project. It is the longest, probably the longest running sponsor on Free Talk Live. Yep. We've been supporting the Free State Project since before they were a sponsor of the show because we're both members and participants of the Free State Project. We've moved to New Hampshire uh, back in 2006, for the purpose of the Free State Project, and the idea behind the Free State Project is to bring people who love freedom all to the same place so we can get active to achieve liberty in our lifetime. And it's a big goal. It's a big concept, and hopefully you can get excited about it if you love the ideas of freedom, too, like we do. There are over 1,500 people who are here now in New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. Most of them have made the move, although a couple hundred were already here when the project kind of selected New Hampshire. So over a 1,000 people have made the move here to New Hampshire and have gotten active, and it's been wonderful so far. There's been so much that has been going on here, it's impossible to summarize it all for you. Uh, political action, which has been successful. People have been getting elected. There have been bad laws that have been stopped. And there have been a few good laws passed, like the jury nullification law here in New Hampshire, the knife ban repeal, where now it's completely legal to have any kind of knife in New Hampshire. There's Sharp a, pieces of metal are now legal in New Hampshire. Yep, all kinds of good uh, political news. There's also civil disobedience. Uh, there's media, just a bevy of media, radio shows, television, newsprint. We've got it all here. And more importantly, there's the community. The community of liberty-minded people who help each other out. The first thing that'll happen if you bring a moving truck full of stuff and you let people know that you're coming here, when you're coming, and where you're going to be, there will be a dozen or more people that are going to show up at your house and unload that truck. They're going to help you unload the truck. You're going to have the truck undone, probably unloaded in less than an hour. And that's, It's real nice because uh, loading it takes a heck of a lot longer. And that's just the beginning of your experience with the wonderful community of people here who care about liberty so much they were willing to move across the country or in some cases across the world to be part of this project. We want to get 20,000 people who will pledge to make the move. We've got over 15,500 at this point. So we're getting there 
and you could be on that list of people, and then you could uh, join us here in New Hampshire and join the fun. There's just so much going on. Go to freestateproject.org. You can get signed up there, and again, that's freestateproject.org. We will take your calls about what you want. Still to come, the latest on Ross Ulbricht. He's the alleged founder, the operator of the Silk Road. We'll find out what his mother has to say about his situation and we'll tell you a little bit more maybe you don't know what the silk road is we'll explain that in better detail coming up here in moments but your calls come first let's go to ross in alabama you're on free talk live ross yes sir how are you tonight hey super go ahead with your thoughts ross okay uh just dealing with bitcoin when you're talking about bitcoin i think this is a really cool it's probably the upstart probably the greatest thing that's ever come on on uh the scene at the present time but uh I don't have any of the Bitcoin right now, but extraordinarily, one of these Bitcoin companies bought into one of the gold companies that I had some shares in. It was dormant, and it's absolutely come to life. So I'll just give you the symbol on that one if you guys want to – somebody wants to speculate on it. It's B-I-T-C-F. Okay. Uh, you know, okay. Not really a stock trading show, so I don't know what to do it's with all that. It's just a little penny stock, and it has come to life with this Bitcoin, and uh, I'm a speculator. The other thing is, is when you're dealing with the e-cigarettes and uh, the marijuana thing, like what I can't understand is why they're so down the e-cigarettes, yet they're opening up the stuff for marijuana. Like, I mean, that's a to me, it's a Democratic thing of control. Uh, I'm more Republican, and in dealing with uh, speculating on Democratic stocks, I've made about 15 grand off of one of the companies buying into uh, the marijuana, the starting up of the marijuana, uh, the medical marijuana thing. Well, first of all, marijuana is not going to be if you're in. in If Los Angeles were to legalize marijuana tomorrow, it wouldn't be legal to smoke it in bars. Because smoking indoors in places is prohibited. So what you're seeing in right. places like that. So what you're seeing happen uh, is you know kind of two different issues. The first issue is legalization or decriminalization of cannabis, which is something that's time has come and it should have happened decades ago. Uh, but it's here now and it's finally happening in, in some places and it will probably be spreading to more here in 2014, hopefully. But, yeah, but uh, and you're, you're you know, and then you're also control. seeing you're also seeing the e-cigarette issue, which is a totally different issue, which is that some people are trying okay. to restrict the location of use okay well what you're looking at is just a control issue the i agree that it's control democrats, as far as i'm concerned well, well i don't no, know no, that it's democrats i i don't think it is it, it, let me let me speculate well, here for a second if i may lots of republicans smoke okay, marijuana um that the marijuana issue has come to a head because people are sick and tired of seeing their friends and family get thrown in uh, jail for stupid things they're sick and tired of people being able to you know people can potentially be helped medically well, no, it's not it's when you get thrown in jail like i mean if you breach the law you're breaching the rule of law. We have like yeah. one. No, point you don't have rule of law in this country. Right? You don't have rule of law on the planet. Right. It's rule, rule of law is a ridiculous fine. notion. No, when you got laws, if you breach the law, you're breaching the rule of law. The it's people that write the laws the don't follow the laws. The, the people that write the laws okay. don't follow Whoa. the laws. How can you possibly have rule all of law? All the people, sir. All the people, the 1.8 million people that are in jail. Breach the rule of law. You think that everybody that's in jail is guilty? Uh, I mean, they have the right to uh, to fight the issue if they're in there. If they get thrown in jail, well, I mean, that's the law system, right? Yeah, yeah, and it stinks. Okay. As long as well, we agree I mean, on that. You do agree that a lot of these laws are really bad, right? I've been in court so many different times, sir. When you're talking about the fact of... Uh, uh, stuff that's in the court. First of all, if you're in a major lawsuit, all the evidence has to be entered inside the courtroom and be docketed inside the courtroom. That's the only evidence that they're ever going to listen to. The court has zero. It's a complete blank. It's up to the lawyers to get the evidence inside the court and get it all entered into the court. That's the only thing the judge. Yeah, I know how courts work. I've spent a lot of time in courts okay. too. Uh, you didn't answer my question so, though, Ross. I mean, my all these question. And conspiracies. My the question, Ross. And the theories and everything. Yes, sir. Like my question was, you do agree that a lot of these laws are really awful, right? Well, I mean, you know, of course, you got to eliminate. You could eliminate hundreds of different laws. Like, I mean, right. they've just gone overboard. Like this smoking issue. I don't smoke. Okay. Uh, my daughter smokes like a little trooper. I don't have any problem with people smoking. If you want to smoke, that's the freedom to do what you want. It's the same thing if you want to drink. It's the freedom to drink and do what you want. That's what really the issue is. The issue is freedom for you to allow you to do what you want to do. But 
if you want to breach the law, the rule of law, and you get nabbed, well, then your little tail's going to go into jail. Okay? And you don't so doesn't that doesn't you don't feel bad about that? I just want to clear clarify. You don't feel bad that no, people you get, you get your little ringer, you get dinged, and you get thrown into jail like that. So mean, if your daughter uh, you was put in a jail cell, price. you would just think that's fine. You know, she broke the law. Well, I would fight for. Her. That's what you have to do for your children. It's up for you as the. Hmm. the but why? The but why do I care what happens to your kid? Under your attitudinal system here, it's like, oh well, your daughter got her ta- tail in a ringer. Why should I care about the injustice that occurred to your daughter? I mean, I should. But from well, the way you seem to be reacting to this is like, oh well, I only care if an injustice occurs to my family. Uh, no, not exactly. Like, I mean, he would care if it happened to Republicans to too. The man in the household, you got to take care of your family. You can't, you can't really rule the world. Like, I mean, if you could take care of your little circle and your friends and try to help out them, that's basically as far as you're going to go. If you get to be a real dynamic person, like you guys are on the radio, then what you try to do is you spread your, your, your concept and your thoughts. We're definitely doing that. Thanks, Ross, others. for your call tonight. Eight fifty five four fifty free. You take control on Free Talk Live. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. 
Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition. We'll take your calls at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you on our site. Those features include archives, so if you've missed a moment of Free Talk Live, for instance, if you're listening on the radio and you only get the Saturday show on your local radio station, you've missed a bunch of moments because we do the show seven nights a week. You can go to freetalklive.com. Click and download as many episodes as you please. They're all free, so go to freetalklive.com. Something else that's free right now, you can go and get uh, privacy protection for your internet connection over at proxpn.com slash FTL. You can start with their free account, which actually encrypts your internet connection, meaning that everything that you send out from your computer is encrypted. Your internet service provider will no longer have any idea what websites you're visiting and what search terms you're entering, because right now, if you don't have ProXPN, they're probably logging all that information, in some cases, as long as five years. So you can fix that by going to ProXPN.com slash FTL and downloading their app for Windows, Macintosh, iOS, or Android devices. There's also instructions to get it working with Linux. Uh, It's a little bit of a different setup. Just email ProXPN and they'll send you back those instructions. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Get started right now with their free account. And then you're going to want to upgrade to their premium package where you get unlimited bandwidth and you get to select your server to which you can connect around the world. So if you want the ultimate in privacy protections, if you're especially going to be doing private torrenting, which you can do only with their premium account, if you want to do private torrenting, I recommend connecting to the Netherlands server that they have. Because they're U.S. servers, they're still subject to DMCA takedown notices, but not if you're on their Netherlands server. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. You can get their premium package for 5 bucks a month if you use our discount code FTL20 and you order the yearly or the annual package over at proxpn.com slash FTL. Code FTL20, save 20% for the lifetime of your account. You get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. You've got nothing to lose but your privacy. So go and learn more at proxpn.com slash FTL and use discount code FTL20 when you're ready to order. By the way, you can pay with Bitcoin and save even more. Let's go back to the phones and the fun and your thoughts. First up, we've got Bill in Mississippi. You're on Free Talk Live. Bill. Hi, guys. Hey, Bill. Uh, I've got a question for a good while about the uh, New Hampshire uh, residency requirements. And my question, I guess, is, you know whether there's a minimum number of days per year that someone would have to claim residency in New Hampshire in order to be able to to, uh, vote? As I understand the rules for voting in New Hampshire is um, you have to intend to spend, to, to move to New Hampshire at the time of voting. So you have to sort of be in New Hampshire as a mover, and intend to move. So you There is say, no residency requirement to vote in New Hampshire. Right. Just so, to clarify. You, well, you could be an occupant, but... Um, that the, you can be an inhabitant of New Hampshire right, an, and an inhabitant. vote. But you, what you would have to do is, you like, for instance, if you were moving to New Hampshire today, mm-hmm. you would be able, or tomorrow, tomorrow morning, you would be able to vote tomorrow during the election. That's and, right. But then the rule would be sort of that you intend to spend tomorrow night and the forthcoming nights, at least for some long period you know the you know into the future as a new hampshire resident i don't recall that detail when i registered to vote uh all i recall is that they just want to confirm that you are not voting in any other place so you have to basically swear that you're not going to vote anywhere else but yeah new hampshire is a little bit different uh you literally can just show up here and vote you don't have to pre-register or anything like that you can walk into the polls on voting day and you can get registered right then there aren't very many states that allow that and as i said there's no residency requirement whatsoever for voting in New Hampshire. Does that answer your question, well, Bill? I, no, not, not exactly. I mean, you're, you're on to it, but I guess this is in terms of 
whether or not I could maintain other residences in other states. And, and in other words, if, if, if you knew whether there were so many days per year, I would have to actually reside in New Hampshire in order to be able to claim the primary residence and to vote there. No, you well, do not have to have it. residency in New Hampshire to vote in New Hampshire, period. You can be an inhabitant, and there to be an inhabitant, there's no minimum, as I understand it, uh, there's no minimum requirement as far as number of days. They just want to make sure you're not voting in another location on that same day or in that same election. But residency in states is kind of sticky business anyway. Uh, I'm from Florida, Sarasota, Florida, and mm-hmm. there's plenty of people that spend you know, more than half the year down there in Florida that vote in their home state where they've always voted in the, in, mm-hmm. you know, in their hometown where they've always voted. So they, you know, they, they, they retire, they make enough money, they move down to Florida uh, for eight months out of the year or whatever. And then they, for the nicest four months, they move up to upstate, they go back to upstate New York and they, you know, they do their thing up there and they'll vote absentee uh-huh. in Florida. So it, it, generally what a, what a resident is in any particular state is very difficult to kind of nail down. My wife is a Florida resident. I am a new an inhabitant in New Hampshire. Okay. Well, I guess uh, now I know some states like uh, Texas only required me to show my voter registration, which I was able to just hand carry in from Mississippi, and that allowed allow me to transfer to Texas. However, I still have a residence in Mississippi as mm-hmm. well. And that, that, that's kind of what I was trying to see, yep. if I could do a part-time residence in New Hampshire and, and take the voter registration in there and be able to vote there. Yes. The answer is yes, you can vote in New Hampshire. It's very easy to vote in New Hampshire. Thank you, Bill, for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Now, if you want to if you want to scam the system, you, you can do that, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. That's a felony. That's, uh, that's dishonest. Yeah. You know, so... Don't be dishonest. I don't think that's what he was getting at. He just wanted to see, you know, what the requirements were to vote in New Hampshire, and it's easy. You just walk right in. That's it. In fact, that's one of the concerns that some people have in New Hampshire is that there are people coming up from Massachusetts being bussed in to go and vote in certain elections. There's pretty good evidence of that having occurred. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, you can walk right in and vote here in New Hampshire. It's really nice. It's very convenient. I don't even I don't ever show ID to vote. In New Hampshire, that's another thing that differentiates New Hampshire from other places. You do not have to show ID. They'll make you think you have to. I but thought you, you had to with the new law. Sorry, nope. It's only requested. Huh. Okay. Yep. Eight fifty five well, four fifty free. That's the toll free number. They want you to think that you have to show ID, but you don't. You can sign a piece of paper that will get you past that. Let's go to Adam. He's in Montana. Adam, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Yeah. Hey guys. I uh, just wanted to say uh, two points real quick. Uh, I know you were talking about vaping and people think like, oh, God, I smell the smell. And the businesses are wanting to, like, you know, uh, squash that and whatever. In Colorado, they're having a a real hard time with uh, people walking down the street smoking a joint. And uh, their kids are there and other people that don't partake and whatever. And uh, they're getting a big waft of this. And they're, they're scrambling for straws to try and figure out how to deal with the uh, out in the open uh, fumes of it and being uh, taken by the stuff. Well, um, isn't, very- isn't it illegal to still illegal to smoke sort of out in the open in Colorado, even yes, though people do it? As I understand it, yes. Well, oh, I guess we're talking it? about civil know. disobedience. But who and- cares? I mean, come on. And people don't get to complain. If you want to complain about somebody smoking cigarettes outside, fine. But so what? If you don't like it, don't walk behind somebody smoking a cigarette or, in this case, smoking a joint. Right. And uh, I just thought that was kind of ironic that they, they legalized. Finally, they the holy grail. They finally legalized it there in Colorado. Now they're, like, uh, running around trying to figure out how to, like, not have uh, – casual contact tie or something. I don't know. Well, but, you're not going to get a contact uh, tie from walking down the street, somebody smoking a joint nearby. Yeah, I mean, it's just not going to happen. The fact is is that uh, rules have, un- you know, laws have unintended consequences. And so when you enact these things and people finally get, you know, finally claw back their human freedom, then there are going to be consequences. And it's funny to hear all the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that's thrown to cast into the water in order to, you know, we've got laws now, and, you know, what, what's going to happen? What people are going to drive? And- well, the control freaks don't give up just because they've lost ground, right? So, okay, it's great that the cannabis has been legalized in Washington and Colorado, 
But that doesn't stop the control freaks. They are constantly pushing for recriminalization. They are constantly pushing for rules and regulations and restrictions. So it's just this never-ending uh, never conflict, and it's very frustrating. And Adam, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Some people buy their cannabis online on places like the Silk Road. We still have to talk about what's the latest in the Silk Road founders, or the alleged founder, Ross Ulbricht. What's the latest in his case? It's interesting news, and hopefully we'll get a chance to share it with you tonight. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If you're on the line, we will get you on the air here on Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with Bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze-drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? If you could get these documents included with your Legal Shield membership for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you're going to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot reach five into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm me. comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. Well, this is you ain't going to make Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Oh, hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Toll House Refrigerated Cookie Dough. Who would you bake some love for? Find fun and easy baking ideas at tollhouse.com. Kids love doing arts and crafts projects, especially when you join in. Try channeling all that artistic energy into the kitchen and bake up some creative treats together. Think of your art supplies as the frosting, sprinkles, and decorating gels, and use cookies or cupcakes as your canvas. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition. We're here. Take your calls about whatever's on your mind. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, but the phones are loaded up right now with all kinds of different subjects to discuss. I do enjoy the uh, the potpourri of uh, Free Talk Live. You never really know what's going to be coming uh, in on those phone lines. But I tell you one thing, we do have an open Skype. You can Skype into us at username lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out to us in that way. If you have the Skype, you can also join us online over at freetalklive.com. Hey, if you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, you can support the show by becoming a Free Talk Live amplifier today at amp.freetalklive.com. We had uh, some Free Talk Live amplifiers come on board this week. It's a matching deal that we're doing right now where we've got about six listeners who have pledged up to $950 per month in matching contributions, meaning that if you become a $5 a month Free Talk Live amplifier, it's like becoming a $10 a month amplifier because your 5 bucks is matched. And what we're doing with that money right now is some of it is going to pay Daryl, who is our affiliate relations person that we've hired. He's our Friday night co-host, and he's also working for us during the week, during the daytime, to uh, to do to call radio stations for Free Talk Live. But not only do we want to reach new people through radio stations with the ideas of freedom, but we also want to reach them on the internet. So we're now doing a fundraiser for Google AdWords, and the idea being that we want to advertise Free Talk Live online to people who are looking for just generic searches like talk radio or internet talk radio, people who are wanting something to listen to. We want them to find Free Talk Live. You can help us with this fundraiser and get matching contributions for if you want to be an amplifier for 10 bucks a month, it's like being 20. So go to amp.freetalklive.com. You can sign up with any major credit card through PayPal, or you can do Visa or MasterCard right through our website. And you get perks like access to the amp-only call-in lines, the amp-only podcast, and the brand new and very popular, I must say, and I'm very happy with how this is working out, the brand new amp-only Facebook group. Yeah. So a great way for you to connect with other Free Talk Live amplifiers. And also we're in the Facebook group as well. Uh, so you can go and become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. Again, it's five bucks a month, but you'll double your money into the AMP program. And thank you for, uh, for doing that in advance. Again, amp.freetalklive.com. So whether it's in an automobile accident or an encounter with the police, driving is a dangerous activity and you do it every day. That's why you need a dash cam to protect you. Freedomcam.net has a new dash cam with a lot of feature features there to uh, to be your ultimate witness. It has a front-facing camera, a camera facing into the cab, and then, of course, out the back. Um, it has a microphone, GPS recording your driving route and speed. It has a G-force meter to record an accident. And it has a password-protected prote- password protected SD card. So if, for whatever reason, somebody snatches your SD card, they can't, uh, they can't use that evidence against you. It's, it's yours and yours alone. And an LCD display showing the video in real time. Or can play back the recorded footage. All these features for a new lower price. They accept Bitcoin at freedomcam.net. So check out the new ga- dash cam at freedomcam.net. This thing, whether you're in an automobile accident or you're in a situation with a law enforcement officer where you two don't agree as to what happened, it's invaluable. This is insurance. The same insurance you should have uh, you know, in driving your car, you should have the Freedom Cam at freedomcam.net. All right, let's go to the phones and your calls and thoughts, starting with Will in New Jersey. Will, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hi. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about <clears throat> about Russia and uh, their, you know, this sanctions that we put against them. I have not put any sanctions on Russia. I would just like to say I support free trade around the entire world. But you mean the U.S. government has put sanctions on them? Absolutely. What are those sanctions? Oh, I don't know what they all are. But in any case, everybody's screaming for more and more sanctions. And I I just want to say that I oppose that whole process because I support self-determination by free people around the world. And it's obvious to me that the people there um, want to be um, at least independent and, if not that, associated with Russia rather than with uh, the nationalists who have taken over in the rest of Ukraine. And I've been to Ukraine a number of times. I can tell you that uh, there are two Ukraines. There's a western part and eastern part, very different uh, with uh, basically the western part of Ukraine 
is Catholic. And if you look in the European press in the last few years, you'll see many instances of attacks on foreigners, uh, foreign workers, people who look different, darker-skinned people, uh, Jews. As I understand, the uh, the the nationalist uh, folks that you're talking about is really only like four percent of the parliament, so they can't have a lot of representation anywhere. There, that's true. They're they're a small. Uh, they have a small part in the parliament, but if you go to Western Ukraine, they have a large influence. And um, well, you when, think if they would have a large well, influence, after, they'd have a lot yeah, of people in in parliament. Well. Uh, you know, maybe maybe cooler heads prevail when it comes to electing people. But, uh, you know, part of this is historic, too. You can't forget that the Russians lost millions of people in World War II sure. uh, to, the, to the Nazis and to their Ukrainian allies. Uh, Ukraine was an ally of, of, of the Nazis. And whenever Russian soldiers were taken prisoner, they were treated, I mean, worse than horribly. They were uh, put into enclosed barbed wire spaces where they were starved to death and until the last one died. They were eating grass. I mean, it was mm. horrible. And, and uh, you know, the Russians don't, don't forget this. And when Putin says the neo-Nazis in western Ukraine who've taken over Kiev, he's, that's what he's referring to. He's referring to the past when the Ukrainians ethnic Ukrainians, uh, have, were, were allied with the Nazis. Well, okay, that, so that history, I, I get it. I get what you're saying. today. Yes, but so what? I mean, you know, people have, uh, you know, people here in the United States, we have sort of old, long-standing prejudices. I worked with a guy who was at, you know, when I was in my early 20s, he was in his late 70s, he didn't like Japanese people because when he was in World War II, he fought Japanese people. Okay. I mean, it was a completely big irrational difference. thought press. It's not a big difference. The fact yeah, is, is, the but Japanese soldiers have... ate one of his uh, his buddies. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, he had some you strong... Have... They were the, hungry. Jeez. It doesn't make it okay. Here's the point we're that all... I, I... Can I make a point? Just we one all... point. The point I'd like to make is is that Russia went about this in the completely the wrong way. The fact is, Crimea may have had may have been able to have a vote to secede, but when you have troops on the ground and you have them uh, the the election administered by a foreign power, it looks really really bad. Russia's an invading force, and they did an evil thing here, and it's not okay. I agree with you. I think that had Crimea had a uh, a, 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 a internationally uh, supervised election could have been supervised by the UN or the Jimmy Carter group or any impartial group. They definitely would have gone the same way that they did. Yeah. That they have a I think you might be right. Election. Not that same number, though. I don't think it would have been ninety-seven percent or whatever. Well, it may not. It may, it, it may not have been because you wouldn't have had the boycott by the Tartars and and the um, you know uh, Ukrainian. Uh, not, Ukrainian um, ethnics, but you were still it still would have definitely gone uh, the way it did, and and really that was a dumb move by the Russians and by Putin uh, shows his arrogance. But uh, you know he's not a he's not a nice guy. I'm no not doubt you don't get is. to be the president of any country by being a nice guy. Thanks, Will, for your call and yeah. thoughts tonight. I appreciate it. At eight fifty five four fifty free, Shauna's in Utah. You're on Free Talk Live, Shauna. Hi. Um, <clears throat> first off, I would just like to say that I grew up in Colorado with the very hippie parents, and they smoked weed around me all the time. Are you stoned now, I don't Shana? Shana? Stuff now. Are you I am st- not. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even smoke it anymore because now I live in Utah, and that's a very large jail sentence. Hmm. But me and all of my friends, we grew up to be just fine people, and our parents smoked it in enclosed rooms with us and everything else. But I was calling in response to the man who... Um, called saying our justice system is just um my father who was a big hippie he got a lot of charges in colorado for possession or distribution of marijuana Mm -hmm. a lot and his very last charge though was not for marijuana but he got a much larger sentence because of all of his previous charges Mm -hmm. and he was 69 years old when the cops were searching his car they took long enough that his oxygen tank ran out of oxygen. They had to call an ambulance to take him to the hospital. Oh, gosh. And then when they sentenced him to five years, uh, 
he went to a medical facility in a prison in Colorado, and um, he was trying to get medical parole. And they had a very sadistic nurse in there who um, he had to be lowered into a bath at this point. I mean, but yeah. And, and his charge was for, he had a distributable, a distributable amount of cocaine. It wasn't mm. marijuana, but the charge still wouldn't have been as much. But Shauna, he, if you want to tell the rest of your story, I'd like you to hang on. We can bring you back here in hour oh. number three in moments. Yes. More with Free Talk Live. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. Want to know the secret to success, kid? One thing, the Granger catalog and Granger.com. Okay, that's two things. Oh, and Granger's got mobile apps. Those sure are convenient. Three things to succeed. Hey, and 1 800 Granger. I know that number by heart. Four things. There's hundreds of branches, too. Like I said, the one secret to keep this place run smoothly is Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, March 21st, 2014. Radio VR News. Air teams are coming up empty-handed this morning as the search for debris from that missing Malaysian jetliner continues. Correspondent Ross Simpson reports the U.S. is now lending a hand in the search efforts in that area. The U.S. is not leading the search, but is providing two long-range surveillance aircraft to assist five Australian aircraft. We have a P-3 and a P-8 dedicated to that mission. Pentagon spokesman Rear Admiral John Kirby says there is no timeline for the mission to end. I think the president made this clear. Secretary Hagel has certainly made it clear we're, we're going to, to stay with this as long as the Malaysians need our help. A Norwegian freighter is assisting in the search. China says it's sending three of its warships. I'm Ross Sims. And the head of Airbus, the world's biggest passenger jet, says there ought to be a better way to track aircraft. Correspondent Rita Foley has more. Fabrice Rigier says Airbus is working to develop black boxes that could be more easily found if a plane crashes or disappears, like Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. He says finding the black boxes is crucial to the investigation following an air disaster. He thinks automated messaging between the aircraft and the ground should be more frequent, and he says that's already possible with existing technology. I'm Rita Foley. <laughs> In a pair of military sex assault cases, correspondent Michael Biesecker reports Army General Jeffrey Sinclair has been sentenced following a plea agreement on a sexual assault court-martial, but he won't be serving any jail time. Judge Paul sentenced Sinclair to a letter of reprimand and a $20,000 fine, as well as having to pay about $4,000 in restitution to repay the government for the travel charges he made on illegitimate trips to visit his mistress. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Naval Academy, a former football player for the school has been found not guilty of sexually assaulting a female student at an off-campus party in 2012. 
correspondent Jessica Gresco reports a judge said witness testimony in the case against Josh Tate was clouded by alcohol consumption and the passage of time. The judge also said that the prosecution didn't prove its case against Tate. The woman at the center of the case testified that she didn't remember the details of being at the party. She had consumed a lot of alcohol, and the next day she saw rumors on social media that a woman had engaged in sex with multiple partners, and she confronted Josh Tate and asked him whether or not they had had sex. She says he said yes, and that's the beginning of the case against Josh Tate. New York City's gas utility says it has made payments to 87 victims of last week's East Harlem building explosion. Correspondent Warren Levinson has more. The local utility Con Edison says it started making payments to residents a day after the explosion that killed eight people and injured more than 60. Investigators have found leaks in a 125-year-old gas main in front of one of the demolished buildings, but they haven't yet established a cause of the blast. In addition to the two buildings knocked down, several others were damaged, requiring residents to be at least temporarily relocated. The payments have gone to survivors and others displaced from their homes. Con Edison is not saying how much is being paid. Warren Levinson, New York. And ironically, no funeral is being planned for Westboro church preacher Fred Phelps, who died Wednesday night at the age of 84. Steve Coleman tells us why. Margie Phelps says in laying her father to rest... There will be no eulogy, there will be no funeral, there will be no graveside service. She says members of the Westboro Baptist Church he founded will... Put the body in the ground. Period. She says funerals are considered idolatry by his church that declared God hates gays. The name Fred Phelps is synonymous throughout the world with Obey God. Margie Phelps vowed that the church's pickets and protests will continue. I'm Steve Coleman. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Like what you hear? You can always find us on the web at voiceofrussia.com slash US or catch us on Facebook and Twitter at VOR America. We are Radio VR. In a statement this week, famed actor and television icon Dick Van Dyke confessed to being the Zodiac Killer, responsible for terrorizing Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The 85-year-old actor, known for his television and film appearances in classics such as Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Mary Poppins, and The Dick Van Dyke Show, said he committed the Zodiac murders but also killed over 37 additional people. Van Dyke said, quote, It was unbelievably easy for me to go kill someone, come back to Burbank, and get on set. It was actually part of the fun to see if I could book a flight and make it back in time. Van Dyke's confession is corroborated by several eyewitnesses describing the Zodiac Killer as, quote, a gangly, loose-limbed man with a toothy grin and a spring in his step. In other news, the open dialogue two Americans are having about race is pretty hilarious. A husband is experimenting with an open marriage, and a f***ing loser is at a movie all by himself. This episode of The Onion Week in Review was paid for, funded, and entirely created by The Onion, and in no way benefited from cheap, thankless viewers like you. For more, keep checking theonion.com. Free Talk Live, take control, toll free here. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. You can bring up anything that you want with you tonight. It's Ian. And Mark. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you on the site. Uh, they are free. And if you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, there are a variety of ways to do that. One of them is to share Free Talk Live with your friends and family on your favorite social bookmarking networking website, Pick your favorite show of the week and send it out to your friends, uh, and we sure would appreciate if you, if and when uh, you do that. Still to come here tonight, the Silk Road update. What's happening with Ross Ulbricht, the man alleged to be in charge of the infamous black market. Maybe you don't know what the Silk Road is. We'll tell you more about it here in a little bit. Your calls come first, though. We go to the phones and to the fun, where we have Sneezy on the line in California. You're on Free Talk Live. Sneezy Hello. with Ian and Mark. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Hey, super. Go ahead with your thoughts, Sneezy. 
Yes, I want to talk about the new California medical marijuana bill that they're passing. Oh, do tell. They're trying to they're trying to regulate the medical marijuana business very strictly over here now, I guess. Oh no, what are they trying to do because it's already regulated? So what are they trying to change? Um well, we have a permission to go to other doctors that are outside our insurance group now, and they're trying to make it where you have to go to your bona fide doctor hmm. to get them to write you your prescription for medical marijuana. Oh no. But they're also trying to make it what a doctor only could write 100 recommendations a year. And if they do write over that, they will be audited by the California Medical Board. Wow. Yep, that's a disaster. Do you think this bill will have any legs? Is it likely to go through? I hope not, but I haven't really seen disappointment even from California Normal. They're talking about like it might be of help to legalize it, but I think it's going in the opposite direction completely. That's terrible. I'm sorry to hear about that. I mean, you would think that after, what, nearly two decades now? It was 1996 when California passed its uh, famous Proposition 215, I think it was, that uh, that legalized medicinal marijuana. You'd think two decades have gone by, everything's fine in California. But it, it goes back to what I was saying earlier, is the control freaks never stop. You can gain ground, and they will push and push and push to gain it back. Yeah, it's like... Well, this bill is sponsored by the California League of Cities and the California Police Department's coalition. So that's why I think it might have some ground by. But it couldn't possibly it couldn't possibly be promoted by the police departments because police officers are just law enforcement officers (laughs) doing their jobs. They wouldn't purport that they change a law. They're just going to they're just going to enforce the laws that are on the books. At least that's what that's what they always say whenever, um, you know, you talk about how a law is bad. Sneezy, thanks for the call and the update. I appreciate your call tonight. You know what? I'm sorry to Shauna, who's still on the line. And I totally spaced out. Shauna, you're back on Free Talk Live. You had called the very end of the last hour, and you were talking about your father, who had some cannabis convictions in his past, and those uh, made it worse for him when he got caught for having a, a distribution of, of cocaine charge. He was 69 years old and uh, was on some sort of medication. You were just kind of getting into your story. So can you go ahead and continue? Um, yes, and I'll make it quick. Um, and he he was on a few medications, but um, and he didn't even distribute the cocaine. He just had what they considered a distributable amount mm-hmm. of cocaine. So um, when he did finally, and it was this was actually the first time he ever took a plea bargain. He always taught me never to take a plea bargain for anything. Mm. So I appreciate you guys advocating for that. But um, he was trying to get medical parole while he was in there because he knew something was wrong. And even though he was in a medical facility inside of a prison, they wouldn't bring in a doctor. And when it finally comes back, they said he had too many points to to get paroled. And the reason why was because he made a complaint against a nurse who lowered him down into a bathtub that was way, way, way too hot. Mm. And and he swore at her. She says he hit her repeatedly. Now, again... He's well. At the time he went in, he was six foot two and weighed 125 pounds. He was sick before he went in. Had an oxygen tank. Normally had to use a wheelchair. I don't know how he could have struck her, but he was so upset about it, and he didn't. He wouldn't even say her name over the phone from the prison because he was concerned because there were patients in there that were completely paralyzed, you know, and that, that she was just horrible to not just her but numerous of the medical people that were in that facility she might have been nearby if if you got dropped you know if you were unable to move and you were lowered into a hot bath you might flail your arms around trying to get out exactly somebody might have gotten bumped exactly but long story short they did finally um give him the medical parole in time to life flight him to a hospice center a week before he passed away oh man um from liver and lung cancer So they're nowhere near kind while they're in there. I've heard numerous, numerous stories, but that's one personal one that I have. Um, And then I just have one other point here in Utah. I believe they just passed, um, it's not exactly medical marijuana, but the CBD oil Mm -hmm. for patients that have seizures. And it's a derivative of marijuana. It does not have any THC in it, though. Right. Um, yeah, and so at least that's one. So wait, it's amazing. Some states won't legalize this. You're, it's a substance without THC, but they'll still, um, you know, they still won't make it legal. So you're saying Utah is going to legalize CBD oil? I believe I just read something that they did hmm. legalize it. Wow, that's exciting. That well, they good. voted unanimously. 
Um, <laughs> and it was a lot of Mormon mothers that were were going after this because, it, you know, for seizure disorders and different things like that. And the fact that it had no THC in it, they really had nothing to argue against. That's that's it's great news. It's not mind altering. It's not anything. It's just it's just medically helpful. Yeah, it just you helps know? people and with so seizures. They didn't really have any? Yeah, yeah. Or I'm guessing a lot of other things I've heard, and I think it was um, it's something that was created by a few growers in Colorado, actually, I believe. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, if I remember the article correctly. But, yeah, I thought it was amazing. Thanks so. for sharing that news with us, Shauna. I appreciate right. your call, and thanks for hanging through the news uh, to to share it with us. So thanks right. for the no, call. No, you're fine. What's that? All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Silk Road. It's been a while since we've talked about the Silk Road, and uh, its found, alleged founder, uh, Ross Ulbricht, he is the man that the feds have decided to charge with a variety of different so-called crimes having to do with conspiracy to commit money laundering, conspiracy to distribute narcotics, conspiracy to, I believe, uh, computer hack. And the allegation was originally, when the, the case first broke back in October, that Ross Ulbricht was also going to be charged with hiring someone to commit murder. Yeah, this was this was a pretty big deal because you know all the rest of these crimes apparently are are basically uh, victimless victimless crimes. You know, if you create a website where people can buy and sell drugs, there's not really a, you know no there's no victim there. Just voluntary interactions between but if, human beings. But the feds know that uh, you know knew that he was a big libertarian uh, guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, he certainly was published. Uh, and as a libertarian, he's someone who uh, who openly advocated for uh, you know voluntary interaction between human beings and somebody who uh, who advocates those things shouldn't be hiring someone to commit murder but what is the silk road first before we give the update on what's happening with Ross and his legal case you want to answer that question mark Can yeah you? it is I, I'm, I'm gonna do my best the Silk Road was a website but not a website like you and I uh, the generally people can go to you had to download this thing called the onion router it's a, the tor browser and it was called it's called the dark web so you can go Ooh, scary yeah yeah it's a fun thing to say and you can go there um, if you have the web address but you can't search it like you could uh, Google there's no gar- dark web Google mm-hmm. so you have to know the well, address I don't know that's a good question I wonder if there is something like that no well what there are there are wikis mark there's the hidden wiki uh, so it's not like Google I guess but there are websites that you still have, have to go kinda... and find out what the secret knock is yeah yeah. And you go there. It takes some looking. Yeah. And it doesn't run nearly as fast as the internet does, in my experience. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it's not nearly as much That's fun because to use. the reason why it doesn't run as fast is because when you're on Tor, uh, the Onion Router, you're hopping through different people's computers. So everybody that's running Tor is passing the Tor network through, you know, some of the Tor network through their computer. And so in order to get to the website that you want to visit, your request may go through five or six different, maybe more, I don't know how many, but several uh, hops before it'll actually get to its location. And it's just generally slower than the the regular internet because you're using usually people who just have their regular internet connections. You're not going through big pipes, you know, the big connections. We'll come back with more about the Silk Road and the founder, the alleged founder, uh, because he hasn't been convicted yet, Ross Ulbricht. Share that with you here in moments, and you can share your thoughts because there's a big development in this case, and it's great news. 855-450 freeze the toll-free number. It's Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase... 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade-grown, so let's Less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. 
Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. If you're looking for work, there's a piece of paper more important than your resume. It's the cover letter attached if you're snail mailing or the email to which you attach your resume. Make it four short paragraphs. Paragraph one, say that you're applying for work. The person you're sending to gets a ton of mail about all sorts of things. If you have a password, that's your first sentence. Tom Nelson tells me you and I should meet. Paragraph two, what you do and how that relates to the opening. Be as specific as possible. Paragraph three, why you want this particular job. I'm originally from Boston, so I know the market well. I have family and friends in the area, so this would be a homecoming for me. Paragraph four, unless the job posting stipulates no calls, and I will call you to follow up. Thank you in advance for your time. From Survival speech.com i'm holland cook the three most important things you can do for free talk live are one share one episode a week on facebook or in some other social networking site two buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com three give five bucks a month to the amp program it's my firm belief that free talk live's amp program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty oriented organizations support all the organizations you love but make sure you get five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've got Skype. Skype on into the program at lrn.fm. That is our username. You will need to send a contact request first, but after you do that, you'll be accepted and you'll be easily able to connect with Free Talk Live from that point forward. So contact us in the way that you prefer, and also don't forget you can join us online and interact in a variety of different ways. We've got a mobile site for those of you with a smartphone who want quick access to our live streams and the podcast. Just go to m, like mobile.freetalklive.com. That's m.freetalklive.com. I have long been convinced that the most powerful thing that you can, the, the most powerful skill you can develop in this lifetime is the ability to convince people, to be persuasive. Um, if you're able to develop that, you can pretty much, you know, chart your own course in this world whereas people that are not very persuasive eh, it's you know it's often it's often very difficult for them um you can use dr matt barney's founder of leader amp system um to become more persuasive he's coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years utilizing the latest science of what works Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application. Now I've purchased this and I'm uh, I'm I'm ready to take their 
their their their quiz to see how um, persuasive I am and uh, get the tips on how to become more persuasive. And they'll develop a customized plan for you to become more persuasive. And I think this is great because, you know, all those health self-help books and that sort of thing, it's, um, you know, these things can be the same cost as getting the plan from Dr. Barney. And they don't customize anything for you. They just give you some advice. And some of that advice is good and some of it isn't good. Also, uh, it's kind of interesting that they have, uh, you know, they, they'll compare your leadership with uh, famous historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs to help you um, see that not every, nobody's perfect, but these people, these leaders overcame their limitations with practice. And the app isn't ready yet. It's being built. But if you want to help advance an approach to grow free, a freedom lovers persuasion skills, uh, we'd love for you to join the community. Feel free to pre-order on the Indiegogo campaign, leaderamp.freetalklive.com. We made it easy for you to find it um, rather than giving some long URL. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com. That's the name of the program is leaderamp.freetalklive.com. So we're talking about the Silk Road, giving you an update on what's happening with the case. But before we do that, it's important to explain what the Silk Road is. I'm sure there are a lot of people who are listening to Free Talk Live for the first time tonight, or people who just have not heard about the Silk Road, or maybe they've heard rumors and they don't know much about it. Silk Road started about two and a half years ago, I would say, sometime in 2011, I believe it was, and it was a real revolutionary or evolutionary idea in the world of the free market, in this case, the free black market. Uh, Silk Road allowed anyone, and still does, because there is Silk Road 2.0 that does exist still, but the original one was taken down by the feds uh, after two years of successful operation. Silk Road allows you or anybody in the world to trade, uh, to sell, to buy Almost anything. There are a few things that are prohibited from Silk Road. You cannot sell weapons, you cannot sell child pornography, and you cannot sell certain types of, uh, there's like a couple types of drugs that they will not allow to be sold there. But pretty much any kind of uh, drug that might be considered illegal is usually fair game on the Silk Road. There's a forgeries section. There's there's also legal stuff that is sold there, so it's not all illegal. Uh, and of course, not all of it is illegal in all countries or in all states, etc., but if you want to go and buy cannabis or uh, LSD or MDMA or you know barbiturates or whatever, they've got all kinds of uh, things on there. In fact, right now on the Silk Road, there are over 13,000 listings for uh, various different drugs. It's the most popular category. There's actually uh, 550 books for sale on Silk Road. So again, it's a dangerous place. Not all uh, illegal products on Silk Road. It's not illegal to go to the Silk Road. It's not illegal to surf through the Silk Road. Uh, what might be illegal in your country or a political de a designation is buying certain products and selling certain products on the Silk Road. But nonetheless, uh, the feds don't like it. And so they did quite the investigation on the Silk Road. They allegedly managed to track down the location of the server and somehow got a copy of the actual data on that server. They mined that information and were able to supposedly find the founder the creator, the operator of the Silk Road, the primary mover behind the operation, Dread Pirate Roberts, as he was known. They claim that Dread Pirate Roberts is a young man in his uh, mid-20s named Ross Ulbricht. Actually, I'm not sure how old he is. I think he's pretty young, maybe in his early 20s. But he didn't anyway. look very old. Anyway, Ross uh, was busted in a library. And they allege that at the time of his arrest that he was actually logged into the Silk Road in some sort of mastermind console. So their allegations are pretty damning. They make it really sound like Ross Ulbricht was Dread Pirate Roberts. But of course, Ross's parents don't believe that that is the case. And there's an interview recently with Ross's mother that Luke Rudkowski from uh, We Are Change conducted that revealed some very interesting information. And I'm going to play uh, a clip from that particular audio here, that video, and we'll link to the full thing on our Facebook page, Google+, and Twitter. But here is the most important bit of this eight-minute-long video from We Are Change. Well, one thing is that um, he was arraigned, formally arraigned, um, a few weeks ago, and one of the things that um, had been charged at uh, previously was... Um, 
something about murder for hire and uh, violent, uh, planned violence. And um, this was not part of the formal arraignment. He was not formally indicted for these things. So that is a change. I, his father and I always knew that wasn't true. Um, we have faith in our son and his integrity, and, um, but um, the fact that he was not formally indicted for these things is significant. Um, they, it is mentioned, as an, as, from what I understand from our attorney, as an uncharged crime uh, that is not required to be proven. So I don't really quite understand what that is. Me neither. I don't understand what that means, but I do understand that he's not been indicted for those things. And that's very, very interesting. And it's also interesting that here we are now in March... And his arrest was October. And he's just now getting indicted? now being arraigned formally? He's had to sit in a prison cell, and he hasn't even been arraigned until the last month? That usually happens the day after. Typically, or very, very soon after an arrest, yeah. So, when Ross was arrested originally, all of the news stories, the federal indictment, the actual indictment alleges that he was involved in murder. I read the indictment. The allegations were, and just to summarize, the allegations were that there was a certain person involved or more than one person involved with the operation of the Silk Road. The kind of things went bad, and he supposedly hired a, a hitman, which point of you know, it wasn't actually a hitman, it was supposedly a federal agent, to take out this former employee before the former employee could snitch on the Silk Road, etc. And he's allegedly sent money over a wire transfer, which makes no sense whatsoever as to why someone who understands Bitcoin uh, as this anonymous digital kind of distributed currency that you can use and send anywhere in the world with no fees, why he would agree to send a wire transfer to a hitman makes no sense whatsoever. Um, all of the circumstances around the allegations about the murder for hire were very suspect, and it's very interesting that he has not actually been formally indicted with those charges. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. You take control. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Free Talk Live. It's not just zoning rules. It's everything. It's true. It's everything. It's, there's, there's so, many, so rules. many laws. You can't possibly know them. It's physically an impossibility to know the laws. You know not to hurt other people. I don't need a law telling me to do that. But the rest of them? Totally inaccessible. <laughs> it's true. It's written in legalese. If you don't have training in reading that crap, it might as well be a foreign language. Mm. And as you pointed out, it doesn't matter if you can read it. I thought I had them dead to rights. And <laughs> these bureaucrats, <laughs> they just, they just like, no, we do whatever we want here at the zoning board. Yeah, that's right. And you'll kiss our butts. Peon. Surf. You'll, <laughs> you'll slave. Do, you'll do what we say. Yeah. Why label them citizens? Oh. Why not just call it what it is? You're a serf. You're a slave. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 
213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. We know you're out there. We can feel you now. We know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. We don't know the future. We aren't here to tell you how this is going to end. We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasing.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and it's the live Saturday edition of the program. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Username there, lrn.fm. With you in studio tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. Don't forget, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. You can get interactive in a variety of ways, and one of those ways is by shopping with Free Talk Live. You can go to shop.freetalklive.com. You can help Free Talk Live with, well, well giving us some money because <laughs> you've got shopping to do online, so you might as well shop through our link. What you do is you go to shop.freetalklive.com. You benefit because you get great deals from Amazon. Free Talk Live benefits because we get a cut of Amazon's profits. When you enter Amazon through the links you'll find at shop.freetalklive.com, there's Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, and Amazon US. You just click into the right Amazon for you. Get your shopping done as you normally would. And Free Talk Live benefits. So again, get your shopping taken care of. Shop.freetalklive.com. Silk Road. We are talking about Ross Ulbricht, the alleged mastermind behind Silk Road 1.0. He is uh, not involved in Silk Road 2.0. Feds thought they were going to put a stop to the online drug market by taking down the Silk Road back in October. It took them a month, but Silk Road 2.0 rose from the ashes. And the Silk Road 2.0 has had some growing pains to go through since then. Uh, their Three of their administrators were also arrested based on the uh, investigations done on Silk Road 1.0. So three of the Silk Road 2.0 admins who'd been around since Silk Road 1.0, they were taken down as well. And I haven't heard anything new on their cases. I don't know what's going on there. If you know anything about that and you want to share, please feel free at 855-450 free. So that was a strike and then uh, a strike against the, the new Silk Road. And then there was a situation where they basically... Uh, got taken with the uh, transaction malleability bug with Bitcoin, which was fixed in the official Bitcoin software. But there are certain websites who did not fix the bug, and apparently does, Silk Road was one of those sites. Does anybody trust Silk Road 2 at this point? There are currently over 13,000 uh, drugs available for sale on Silk Road 2.0. So I guess the answer is yes. Yes, they do trust it. Okay. Uh, they are claiming, Mark, that they will be paying their customers back so they have an idea of how much money was stolen from everybody and what they're going to do or what they allegedly are doing is sending their fees so the administrators take fees from each sale right so it's like a 10 percent fee or something like that so every seller that's selling on silk road there's a fee attached to their product that fee goes to the operations of the silk road those fees are being funneled to the customers as a make good for them screwing up royally and losing who knows how much money in Bitcoin on the site. That's so. actually happened with a few different uh, situations uh, where there's been hacks on Bitcoin sites. And, uh, you know, people are making good. They're, it, it, it's still sort of new, and they're figuring out, you know, how, the, how does this Internet currency work? You know, banks get robbed, too. 
Yep, exactly. So they really are obviously appreciative of people who've continued to stay on board with them, but obviously they've also lost business because there are other sites out there. Silk Road's not the only game in town. In fact, uh, if the feds wanted there to be less drug transactions online, they should have left the original Silk Road alone. Uh, because since the Silk Road was taken down, there have been several uh, competitors that have sprung up to try to take the business from Silk Road. Uh, one of them is Agora Marketplace, which you can link to over on shop.freetalklive.com. There are about 6,000-some drugs on Agro Marketplace for sale right now, as well as other uh, products that are legal. So, again, it's not just some uh, place where you can go to buy legal things. But So, the Agro Marketplace has about 50% of the number of listings as the Silk Road does. So, there are a lot of competitors out there. Of course, you have to be careful because uh, you don't know who any of these people are. That's the thing with these anonymous marketplaces. You have no idea who's operating these uh, markets. You have no clue. Uh, but that's why they recommend that you use PGP encryption when you're sending along things like an address to which you would like things shipped to you. So there's all kinds of details that you should learn if you are seriously considering going to a place like Silk Road 2.0 or the Agro Marketplace. You do want to take time to learn and research and see what the best safety practices are before you get involved in something like this. But if you are someone who uh, has an interest in purchasing things that would be generally considered illegal in a lot of places, I firmly recommend you do take the time to learn about these things because they are a lot safer in general, in my opinion, than going out into the streets and buying drugs from some unknown quantity person in an unknown questionable manner as far as what product you're getting you never really know at street level but the thing with the silk road that's really has been amazing just to summarize is it's brought a level of safety and security to the black market that has heretofore never existed because when you're in the black market, typically, and you're just buying from street-level dealers, you don't know what product you're getting. You may get ripped off. You may get something completely different from what you originally thought. You, you may, may get something that poisons you. You may get something that you that was what you thought, but it was more concentrated than you thought, and you know, overdosed as a result of that. You may get robbed. You may get beaten. You may get held at gunpoint. Uh, you can never get robbed, beaten, and held at gunpoint by a seller on the Silk Road. You could have someone sell you some bunk product on the Silk Road, but it's unlikely because the Silk Road sellers are competing with other sellers. Even though everyone's anonymous, there are ratings that each seller has, and right. they want to have a good rating. So they want to sell real product in general. So obviously, if you're buying right. from a they seller- open, They open an anonymous account, but it's their anonymous account. So right, they log name, into it every time. With a name associated And no one it, else yeah. can log into it. So the question is, is how good is the product that comes from that anonymous account? And sellers want to, want to be known as the one that provides the good product. And like on eBay, they have ratings where you can read what people have said about how well they ship. Are they shipping with stealth? You know, are they good with packaging? Uh, is the product what it claims to be? So it's a lot safer to buy product like this through the Silk Road. Because a lot of times, and it's also a lot safer to sell through the Silk Road, yes. If you're a seller on the Silk Road, you still have the risk that a buyer will be dishonest and claim like, I didn't get that package that you sent me. Well, you don't know if they're telling the truth or not, uh, but ultimately, uh, you know, most people are on the up and up, I think, and that's not something that you really have to, to be too, too concerned with, although it does happen. Don't the buyers get ratings too? Mm, I don't know. I would think they do, but I don't, I'm, I, I don't know, Mark. That's a good question. So um, I'd want to know. So... But anyway, yeah, that is a good question. I'm not sure about that. I would presume they do, but anyway, my point being that as a seller on the Silk Road, you're never risking getting uh, you know, a gun put in your face. You're never risking an undercover sting operation uh, because everybody's anonymous. You don't put your actual address on, you know, you don't put your real return address when you ship something uh, to somebody on the Silk Road. So it's just more safety all around, better likelihood that you're going to get the actual product that you're looking for. And the prices are better generally than the black market prices in, you know, wherever it is that you live. So it's a real increase in safety and reliability for the black market, and uh, the feds hate it. They hate it for a lot of reasons. Yeah, sellers, <clears throat> excuse me, sellers on these uh, these dark web uh, markets are competing with folks around the world. So, you know, for instance, it may be difficult to get X drug in I don't know where you're talking about, but mm -hmm. Lakeland, Florida, where yeah, sure. whereas it's not that difficult to get it in, say, Belgium. 
where the drug laws are more lax and they you know they allow people to test drugs and a variety of things right out in the streets. So you're going to get a better product, and it's uh, they've got to compete against as far as price and quality against people around the world. So there you go. That's a little bit of information about the Silk Road. I put a link to it on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can go and check that out at your leisure. Again, it's not illegal to go and check it out and read through the site and learn about it. Just looking at it. Yep. So go ahead and do NPR that. Did, NPR has done stories on it. Many news organizations have done stories on it. Nothing wrong with checking it out. Let's go to the phones and to your thoughts. You can bring up what you want. Dan is in Michigan. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dan. Yeah, good afternoon. Or good evening, Welcome, I sir. guess. I've got a... I've got a couple. I'll make them short stories uh, about law enforcement and their partners in crime. Oh, several years ago, I had a machine repaired, $2,700. They never fixed it right. All right, somebody else fixed it. We went to court. First of all, I asked the judge uh, improper dur- jurisdiction to have it removed. And he tells me no. Okay. Well, we go through, yada, da, da, da. I asked the company, did you ever see it run? Did you ever make it run? No, no, no. Judge rules in their favor. Pay him anyway. Mm. All right, so now I had a parking ticket. Kalamazoo County calls me. And I asked him about this improper jurisdiction thing. He says, no, you're right. You know, the judge should have dismissed it. So I said, okay. So that could really tick me off. So I call the, um, the bar in Allegan County, which is a neighbor county. And they, you know what they told me? They says, well, you know, we got to work with that judge every day and stuff. We <laughs> can't do nothing about it. Uh, sounds like the good old boy network. Dan, if you've got more to your story, hang on. We'll bring you back here in a moment more with Free Talk Live in the remaining moments. If you want to get your call in, do it now. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the Total Transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. Limited number of free programs available. Call now, 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. I'm Nick Soboleski, a SelectQuote agent with a true story of how SelectQuote goes to bat for you buying term life insurance. A while back, a man called me who had had prostate cancer. He asked if I could beat a very high quote another life insurance agent had given him. I said, let me see. Well, I took his pertinent information, then shopped the highly rated, price-competitive companies we represent, and found one who pre-approved him for a premium way below what he had been quoted. When it comes to term life insurance, no other company touches select quotes, experience, and expertise in finding the right policy at the right price for almost anyone. How about you? For your free quote, call 1-800-945-1041. That's 1-800-945-1041. 1-800-945-1041. Or go to selectquote.com. We shop. You save. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here at 855, 450 free, even in the remaining moments, which are imminent. That's what we're doing right now. But if you don't get in tonight, it's no big deal. We've always got tomorrow. Because Free Talk Live is live seven nights a week. We're 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time live. You may not be listening in those times live. Maybe you're listening via podcast or you're listening on a radio station that delay broadcasts the show. If you want to call in and interact with us, just make a note that we're on from 7 to 10 Eastern. And then call during those times. We'll be happy to talk with you about whatever's on your mind. Of course, you can join us online at freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features you'll find on the site. Free Talk Live brought to you by Victimless Crime Spree. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. It's a feature length documentary film about a lot of the activism that happened here in Keene, New Hampshire back in 2011 and 2012. Our friend Derek J., who will be moving back here in just a couple months, which I'm very excited about. Uh, Daryl and I were talking last night about getting him back on Free Talk Live, maybe on Friday night since we have an open seat uh, on that night. So uh, that's definitely uh, exciting for me because Derek J. is probably one of my favorite activists. And uh, and I was the executive producer of his movie, which was a lot of fun to make. And it's a lot of fun to watch. If you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out. You can watch the entire thing for free online at victimlesscrimespree.com. Please share it with your friends. Uh, share it with people that you want to see and you know, exposed to the ideas of freedom because I think not only is it an entertaining film, but it also really expresses some great ideas about liberty in there as well. So again, victimlesscrimespree.com. We'll continue here with you and your thoughts. Dan is in Michigan. You were telling us about the good old boy network as it applies to the court system. Do continue, Dan. Yeah, then my second example is the wife passed through a very famous speed trap in Kalamazoo County, all right? Goes to court. Tell the judge, first of all, my Cadillac is black, not blue. Second of all, I don't even own a cell phone. The judge tells her, well, you know what? The cop wouldn't lie. Pay the fine. <laughs> was the claim that she was on her and cell phone or something? Yeah, they said she was on her cell phone and she was speeding. She says, I see the cop sit there. I know the area. We know they always sit there. Hmm. I do not even own a cell phone. And, you know, the car is black. It's not blue. Well, the cop wouldn't lie. That's what the judge said. Guilty. Yep, you know, guilty. another thing so, about this know, is I've, I've had the same sort of, uh, f- you know, situation in uh, a court system, in the court system. It's collusion between the judicial and the executive is what you're talking about here. There is an unspoken bond between these people. I had a situation where I went into a court. I'm, uh, you know, deposing the officer on the stand. I ask him if that's a gun on his hip. And he said yes. And I, I asked him, are you aware that I was disarmed of my pocket knife on the way? in here and he said no but i'm not surprised and i you know moved that uh, you know moved the court to dismiss the case because well it's obvious there's collusion between the judicial and the executive here Overruled. this guy yeah this guy gets to walk in with a gun they take my pocket knife there's it it's obvious who's their favorite mm-hmm. and it's like you know you said several times my parents cops can do no wrong ma no 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 wake up smell the roses the cops, I bet you, percentage-wise, are dirtier than the general public. I think that's probably true, Dan. Thanks for your call and thoughts tonight. Let's go to Wit. He's in Arizona. Wit, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. I don't believe that's probably true, that cops are dirtier than your average criminal that ends up in the courthouse. I don't know. He said it's the general crazy. public, not the average criminal in the courthouse. Well, just like your previous caller, didn't a known speed trap 
Was she speeding or not in black and blue? What kind of blue is he talking about? Dark blue or light blue? Who cares if she was speeding or not? Was anyone in danger? Probably not. Bigotry that you have, one of you two have towards cops is amazing. I'm not not bigoted towards cops. I just don't want the police to hurt peaceful people. Do you think I do? I don't know anything about you. Who wants cops to hurt peaceful people? I don't know anybody that wants cops to hurt peaceful people. I know they're dirty cops. Oh, I I know plenty of people who want the cops to hurt peaceful people. Everyone who supports the war on drugs wants that. Okay. That's a totally different story, but that's not true. Drugs are bad for you. And I can't... Which drugs? Whether or not you or I agree with our... uh, Well, hold on. There's a lot of drugs out there. Some of them are not bad for you. Okay. I know that. I actually have been libertarian all my life. I do know that there are bad drugs in this world that I understand why people think they should be illegal. They're not good for you, and they harm, cause mm-hmm. tremendous harm in society. Time in but jail is a lot more harmful. Either. I don't think they should be illegal either. Right. And I don't support the so-called war on drugs. Okay. I think it's been a travesty. But again, I digress. I called in to open up, sorry, if I may, Old war wounds. Are you with me? Uh, right Go ahead. here. Well, it's free talk live. Talk about whatever you want. I think it's I think it's Ian that uh, scoffed at the idea that violence can beget peace. But I believe it was you, Ian, that said something about well, maybe in the short term, but not in the long it's term. It's only an illusion of peace okay. because in order to okay. have peace, your means must contain peace. Okay, I, I, so I, it is you that said that. Before I got a chance to respond, I shall not like to respond to that because it was in the context of speaking of violence, the evil empire of Japan, who had murdered millions of people literally up until Little Boy was dropped on Nagasaki. Uh, They unconditionally surrendered. The United States military took over the evil empire of Japan. And Japan has never gone on the warpath ever since. And the U.S. military didn't kill any more Japs as a matter of, uh, yeah, they it literally is now a free country that's been prosperous since August of 1945. Uh, again, how many have they murdered? None that I can think of. And even the U.S. military made it a free country through vicious acts of violence. Well, so I should okay, like so to ask let me, let, me, let me rebut that. I get what you're saying. You're saying that, um, you know, so that uh, Japan was aggressive, it was doing terrible things in China, um, and, you know, the fact that the United States wanted to go to war with them, forget about that, that, you know, that's not important. Wait a second. No, you can't say that. That's not true. The McCullough Memo. Go Why ahead and look it up. Ma- stop talking. Oh, McCullough okay. Memo. Where are you Write it down. From? Write down McCullough okay. Memo and look it up after you get off the phone call. Okay. Now, so McCullum's responsible for World War II? No, but you know for sure, we know for sure FDR saw that uh, that memo. And why in the world did they put this together? Why, why did they want to go to fight with Japan? You, I, I want to res- uh, respond to your why? original because point. The evil empire of Japan had already murdered millions of people before December 7th, 1941. They were on a war path. So, you're, so just to be clear, you don't think that the dropping of bombs on innocent, peaceful people and slaughtering thousands of people, not that's not people. evil? Just count. to clarify before you keep talking, that's not evil to drop no, bombs on innocent people? Okay. Uh, Hiroshima and Just Nagasaki Just want to be clear. Can you answer my question? Is it evil yeah, to drop bombs to on it. innocent people? It's a sorry fact of war that the innocent people that lived in Nagasaki and Hiroshima also had relatives that were going to munitions factories that had produced bombs that had murdered millions of people before August of 41 when they were shut down forever. So is it evil to drop bombs on innocent people, sir? No. No, Thanks for for the the call. I've had enough of that. I used to live um, within— a half a mile of a place that made, uh, you know, the the brains of um, the the Patriot missile, and does that mean that it's okay to drop a bomb on that place and blow up me and my house? That doesn't. Su- I mean, that's the e- you know that's the unfortunate well, when, reality uh, of war. According to him, <laughs> when the Japanese uh, drop bombs on people, then it's evil. But when Americans drop bombs, then it's totally fine. It's just Look, war. I, I completely agree with him that uh, Japan was doing evil stuff in China. I got it. I'm 100. percent The claim that uh, the the U.S. is somehow that 
violence beget peace. Yes, it did on, I suppose, on one side, you can make that argument with Japan, but it certainly didn't beget it on the side of the United States. The United mm-hmm. States was propelled into the world as the the world's, uh, you know, uh, superpower at that, that moment in sure. time. Everybody else was destroyed. And it's not like they laid down their arms or anything like that. The United States is currently in uh, you know, since that time, has gotten into treaties with 54 countries that they will go to war with 54 countries. That's a quarter of the planet, as far as uh, numbers of countries go. So don't act like. I mean, the U.S. is now the military of the world. So violence didn't beget peace on the other side of the situation. What you're claiming, Ian, is that one can't get to peace through violence, and you're not saying that. Um, you know that you can't put down. You know, one side of a situation, you can't punch somebody. Clearly, if the, an aggressor comes at you, you pull out a gun and put a bullet in his head, you've ended violence mm-hmm. from that guy's uh, point of view. But you've also propelled violence from your side. So this is a two-way street. And what about the guy's family members who might be upset that you just took away their loved one? Are they pr- perhaps more likely to use violence Could against you at that Could be a few situation. Now, I, I do. I would do you disagree. think everybody in Japan feels real w- warm and rosy in their hearts about the United States They today? certainly don't like that whole uh, Hiroshima Nagasaki thing. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I tend to disagree. I think that one needs to use a certain level of force to defend oneself, especially if one has a family and those sorts Different of things. Different on an individual level than it is on a national scale. A national, on a national about scale, exterminating they, people. Yeah, on a national scale, they force people to fight, and uh, they force people. You know, the consequences of actions are forced upon them, as you can see with innocent people being killed in Nagasaki. We are out of time for tonight. Uh, you may call in tomorrow night on the live Sunday edition. We'll see you then online. In the meantime, at freetalklive.com and you got to be peaceful if you want peace in the future. See you later. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need.